Hello, everybody. Uh, what is going on with YouTube right now? What is going on with YouTube? What is up with YouTube? Did everybody get notifications? Just want to see real quick. Did you guys get the notifications? Because I think uh, YouTube might have not sent them out. Okay, now I see everybody popping in. I think it might have been delayed. Just wanted to make sure everything is uh, working properly. Went through Discord? Okay, yeah, YouTube's failing then. YouTube just failed to send out notice. Seems about right. Because I was thinking to myself, normally we've got like close to 100 people in here within the first two minutes. Looks like YouTube's having issues. There's one of them. Oh, really, Osgard? It was that late? Wow, yeah, that notification for the short was super late as well. I guess YouTube's just having issues today. He moved as I shot, but I'm pretty sure that we probably still hit him good as he dropped on the spot. How's everybody doing? Oh, uh, we got the fourth one yesterday, YK. We got great one number four yesterday in the middle of the stream. Um, I don't know if you guys have seen, but I've been trying to stream super long recently. We streamed for seven hours yesterday and about, I'd say three or four hours into it, we got a great one to spawn. Lots of decent bucks over there. Hey Jace, how's it going, dude? There we go. Oh, and also, just a heads up, guys, you'll probably hear my daughter in the background for a little bit. Two thirteen. Most underrated map? I don't know. I would say... To be honest, Tiabaroa. Most people don't like Tiabaroa that much. I, I'm the exception there. I love that map, but there's a lot of people that don't like it. And I, I think that's definitely underrated. Really, the only thing people think about Tiawaro for is the Red Deer in many cases, and it's got so much more to offer. It's got Sika Deer, it's got amazing Fallow Deer, the Feral Goats are cool, it's got Shammy, like, there's a lot going on for Tiawaro. And I feel like most people don't even have it in their top five. Not to mention the map is beautiful. Got a very lush green color palette, which is amazing. That's a pretty big two there. You know, this zone has been weird recently. We've been having one less shootable buck than normal. Curious where it's gone. How's everybody doing though? Uh, not super late, Blaze. We just started, but YouTube failed to send out notifs, so... Good chance that you probably uh, missed it because of that. YouTube is uh, not doing great today. Poor YouTube failing to send out notifications. You'd think that a big company like YouTube could uh, make things work properly. Nice, Tyler. That's awesome. Nice, JN. Nice. Well, even before then, Sonaldo, there was a lot of people that just did not like uh, Tiawaroa because of... Well, really because of the brush and the species that are there. Like, a lot of people wanted the feral goats to be different than they were. 
A lot of people aren't too interested in Sika because they're smaller deer. Ah, uh, no, Kelly, I'm still missing a few. Not gonna shoot this. I, I got a feeling some teleportation stuff's gonna happen again like yesterday. Last thing I want is to accidentally shoot one of them. Are red deer great ones harder to get? No, they're definitely easier than whitetail, I would say. Well, the grind is easier. However, uh, I think great ones across the board are pretty much the same odds. But obviously, like, certain maps have better layouts for grinding. Okay, that one ran off. So I personally think Tiabaro or Red Deer is the easiest, uh, Red Deer, or the easiest, uh, great one grind there is. Oh, that's understandable, Turkey. It's not something everybody's got the time to do. What gun do I use? I'm currently using the 300 Magnum, and then for diamonds, I use the 308. Best hour to hunt red deer when grinding. So you can start at like 6.30 and go clear till 10.30. Be patient, Gilbert. There's a lot of people in here. You can't expect me to answer every single question. Be patient. Nice. I uh, started streaming like 10 minutes ago. Uh, just because, Kobe, I spam time resets so much that for me it doesn't really matter when I set it to. Because I'm just going to reset it like three times during the run anyways. To force deer into their zones. Um, not one-on-one, -on -one, Noah. If I'm in multiplayer, though, and, and you end up finding me, though, feel free to play along, right? But I, I don't do one-on-one -on -one because then I'm going to have everybody asking me to do that. I'm big fan. He plays with me. <laughs> true. True. Jordan, thank you for the two months. Welcome back. Hope you're doing good. I think it's just that one. Good buck there. This zone has been getting a lot of, uh, a lot of weird stuff going on with the bouncer bucks. We've got an extra deer here than normal. Ever since I started leaving that extra level one, we've got an extra deer here. So weird. It's crazy how something so small can make such a massive change. What zone did the fourth one appear in? It's uh, back at Runaki Lake next to the other great one. Not the same zone. But, uh, very close. Uh, no, Chris, we didn't accidentally shoot a great one yesterday. Nice, Peyton, that's awesome. Congrats. That is super awesome. What exactly is herd management again? I recommend checking out the herd management guide that I've got. If one of the mods could put it in chat, that would be awesome.
What is my favorite great one? I think I like the great one whitetail the best. There's a lot of variety with it. However, I got a feeling the great one moose is going to be my favorite after this next update. Um, essentially, mate. Essentially. So, what I've done is I've loaded my map with about 70% level 1s. Pretty much I've only shot the level 2s and 3s until I got my map to about 70% level 1s. And then there's something else that you can do to kind of further speed it up. You can leave all the level 3s that spawn in your favorite zones. And that will make it so you can get more level 1s. Uh, no, Turkey, we don't. I've done one or two streams with her a couple years ago, but haven't recently. Yeah, CJ, that was lucky. Yeah, no release date on the new update yet, guys. For those that were asking, there is no release date. As of now, all we know is December. If I were to take a guess, though, I would say probably... First or second week of December. Seems like the most likely. Nice, Outlaw, nice. Because I hunt every single zone on my map, Whitetail. I have 68 Whitetail zones on my map, and the majority of them are all level 1s, so... I know literally every deer that is in every single one of those zones. And a lot of that's just playing a lot. I've done about... About 8,000 kills on this grind. Uh, Call of the Wild should be around 20 bucks, I believe, Charlie. Maybe a little bit less if it's on sale. Because they do sales quite often. Rose asking, also, this is the new great one. This is the new one that we just got to spawn. And here's one that we had previously that we had stacked. Of course, he's in front of that one. I don't like the fact that he's just right there. There we go. That's better right there. That is way better. We got any buck over here? We usually get between zero and one at this zone. Uh, typically between like 60 and 70, Neo. Mine is like 68. Hey, Deer Slayer, how's it going? Hope you're doing good. Is there a great one, Blacktail? Sadly, no, but it is my number one most wanted great one. So hopefully one day we will get one. Because that would be pretty cool. Definitely some deer hiding. We can get that guy. Beautiful. Do you think they'll add cross-platform at some point? I don't think so, Faded. I think it'd be too difficult. Uh, for as long as I'm able to, Logan. I mean, that's really up to you guys, right? How long that I'm able to do YouTube for a living is all gonna depend on how long you guys watch me. It's all gonna depend on uh, how long you guys watch the content that I put out. I mean, look at Flinter. He's been going on for like six years. It's all about the people that watch your content and how long they'll watch it, right? And the thing about YouTube is there's always new people joining channels as well. You can go on for like 
10 years doing YouTube if, uh, if everything plays out right. And I think it's just going to increase as well the longer that we are, the longer that YouTube's a thing. Thank you, Fierce. I appreciate that. Nice, Ben. We got some weirdness going on in this zone again. Oh, there he is. I'm gonna say we should have at least one here. To be honest, though, I think... I think at this point we can kill one of the ones. We've got enough other zones on our map to turn to ones that I can kill one of the ones in here now and get us back to two shootables. Yeah, Kobe, it's been crazy recently, man. I've been uh, pretty blown away at uh, the channel growth as of recent. Same for KC's, like... Things have been insane recently. Incredibly grateful for that as well. Like, it's not even the new, the new update yet, which is, I think, the thing that blows my mind the most. We haven't even hit the update, and so many of you are stopping by the streams. We've got so many brand new viewers subscribing to the channel. Like, there's just been a lot of craziness going on. Uh, those are the ones that I've shot, Expo. I don't count them until I've actually killed them. All right, they're going to be stubborn, so let's main menu. What's the best map for Red Deer? Definitely Tiawaroa. Hey, Travis, how's it going, dude? Hope you're doing well. Am I excited for the new update? Oh, dude, I am more than excited. I'm insanely excited. I cannot wait till we can customize all of our guns and then go hunt a great one moose. Like, oh my gosh. I want to do something cool as well. Whenever we get a great one moose to spawn, I want to customize my rifle to match whichever fur type we get and then take it down with that. That's, uh, that's something I really want to do. Customize whatever weapon I'm using to look like the moose does. And I think on the grind, we'll try to match the fur type that I want. Like, uh, make our camo on our weapon the fur type that I hope to get, or look like the fur type I hope to get. Maybe bring some of that luck, you know? <laughs> There's some cool stuff we could do like that. Great one, Moose with the inline. Oh, 100%. That's definitely what I'm going to be doing. As it is the new gun, so might as well. Since it's a usable weapon on them, we might as well do it. What's the easy way to make a lot of money in Call of the Wild? Uh, Red Deer on Tiawaroa. Even if you don't own Tiawaroa, jump into multiplayer. And hunt some red deer. You'll make tons of money, I promise. I've been doing it a little bit on the uh, new account playthrough. You guys will see a video on that probably in maybe a week or so. I've recorded pretty far ahead on the series, so. But it's, uh, it's crazy. Early on especially, if you are lower level, once you unlock like the 270... Or if you have, like, uh, any of the DLC weapons, really. Go straight to Tiabaroa. And, uh, hunt Red Deer. You will make bang. Should get him. Nice hey, hit. Good enough.
Nice dad fishing, dude. That's awesome. That is super awesome. Uh, we're not sure, Hunter, call the Wild Clipper. We're not sure when that will happen. Really, all we know is sometime in December. Dear, these zones have been so weird recently. Really? You're just gonna stop like that? Okay. I see how it is. I see how it is. We got rude deer. Rude deer here. Uh, no, Taisuke, we don't know when the update will drop. We just know it'll be early to mid-December. When am I doing the moose grind? Whenever the update drops for the moose. About 75% of my respawns for red deer are level 7 and up. Can I shoot my stack to level 9s? Um, well, how much is 75% uh, bread? Like... How many red deer do you have on your map that are above level 4? That's, that's more of the number that you want to go off of when deciding. How many would you say are on your map? That you uh, are able to shoot? How many shootables do you have? Wow, three bucks this time. Okay, okay, love to see it. Beautiful. What map am I gonna grind for the moose? I hope the new map, if it's good enough. Right now, we don't know how good the new map is gonna be for moose, but if it's good, I wanna grind them there. But if it's not super great for Moose, then I'm probably going to grind Medved. Uh, we're stacking the great one, Daniel. We're stacking them. Just to see how many we can get on the map at once. Nice, Hunter Boy. I'm glad you liked it, dude. Glad you enjoyed the last stream. Hey TSM, how's it going, dude? I believe I do remember you, yeah. Nice, Jace, nice. One out of every three is above level four. So you've got about a third of your map as the shootables um personally i try to get it i always try to get my grinds to be like 70 percent of the lower levels so for red deer that would be like 70 percent level four and below i'd say keep grinding a little bit longer like keep trying to get them to go down more that's a good three or a three, at least. Not necessarily a super good one, but it's a three. <laughs> I hate having to take those sketchy shots like that. But sometimes you just gotta do it. Got three of them there. How do you level fast? Um... Again, Red Deer on Tiabaro is probably the fastest way now. It used to be geese, but they nerfed geese pretty hardcore. Ah, it's a troll. No. Oh, well. It is what it is. Hey, that zone's being stubborn. It's not actually there. Okay. Might have to do a quick time reset to get them there. Uh, maybe at some point, Daniel. Why don't I shoot the great ones? Because we are uh, stacking them. We're just stacking them on our map to see how many we can get. Yeah, Red Deer give a ton of money, ton of experience. They are just insane for leveling and earning money as you level. 
amazing thing to hunt. When is episode two? Tomorrow, Blaze. Tomorrow will be episode two. I was going to do it today, but uh, I didn't get the editing and stuff finished, so it'll be tomorrow instead. Could barely see that guy, but we got him. What the? What is going on? <laughs> Ooh, smoked him. Oh, that poor buck. That poor buck, man. Do you have a grind guide? I do, Weston. I do. I do indeed have a uh, guide for grinding. If one of the, uh, yeah, thank you, Turkey. Never mind. Didn't even have to say it. Turkey just, uh, did the command for the lynx. That is my guide for red deer and my guide for whitetail. Oh, we're going to stream for another, at least four or five hours, Jace. We're going to do another five to seven hour stream today. Maybe one of these days, Daniel. Maybe one of these days. Not today, but, uh... We'll do some more of them for sure. Uh, the, la the fourth great one spawned last stream, Lavish. About halfway through the stream, maybe a little bit further in. I went for my lunch break yesterday, uh, midstream. Came back, next zone we went to, there was a great one. It was pretty amazing. There's the other one. Hey, BTL, how's it going? Oh, I hope so, Dylan. That's why I'm doing longer streams now. Like, I'm hoping we can get them to spawn quicker. Yeah, probably, Lavish. I, I did, like, my 20-minute, uh break and then when we came back we spotted him very shortly after what gun am I using 300 magnum Weston yeah don't shoot the does if you're grinding uh, southern the does can never respawn as a buck and they also can't spawn a great one so we don't really grind the uh, does we just shoot the bucks How do you get the 300? It's a part of the Yukon DLC. If you own the Yukon map, then you'll be able to have access to the 300. Uh, no, sadly, there is no great one on Verhonga. I wish there was. Hopefully one of these days we can get a Cape Buffalo or a Lion Great One. Either of those would be super cool. It's the only DLC you don't have? Ooh, unfortunate. It's a good one. A lot of people consider Yukon to be the best map, plus the 300 Magnum is a pretty great gun. Nice, Isaac. Oh, definitely, Osgar, definitely. I've thought about getting one IRL before. It's definitely a good caliber. You use the M1? The M1's good too, Weston. It's great. You want a 70 pound great one Canada goose? Oh man. That would be wild. Looks like just two this time around. Oh no, Talon. I'm sorry to hear you got trolled. Uh, yeah, Landon. I hunted as I grew up. 
Didn't really get much, but I did go hunting when I was younger. I agree, Justin. I don't know why we can't. What's a food that I don't like? Um, let me think. Trying to think of one that I just absolutely despise. Hey, NRT, how's it going, dude? Welcome. Yes, C Gaming, we can see your chat messages. There's a lot of people in here, so understand. If if I don't acknowledge a message, it's not that I'm trying to ignore you. There's a lot of people, I can't respond to everything. Hey Ethan, how's it going? Uh yeah, let me think. What what is a food that I just don't like? I I like most foods, so it's hard for me to even think of one. I mean, I'm not a big fan of celery. Hey, get back here. All right, well, that one's gonna run away. Let me think, what else don't I like? Never been the biggest fan of eggplant either. Just can't get into it. Oh, and when it comes to like, uh, I guess like candies, I, candies are a type of food, right? They're just not healthy, but uh, I think it's still a food. I don't like licorice at all. Black licorice tastes disgusting to me. Cannot stand it. My gosh. <laughs> Uh, not sure, uh, Yovan, I'm not sure. I don't know what my smallest, uh, moose would be. I don't really keep track of, uh, smallest moose. You take that back? Never. It's disgusting. Uh, maybe, Almond, maybe. I might. Uh, my wife does want to get out hunting sometimes within the next few years, so we'll see. Uh, yeah, YK, I do. Can you do a face reveal at 80k? I've already face revealed, Daniel. I face revealed when I was at like 15k or something like that. I've also done lots of uh, videos and streams with the uh, webcam back in the day. I just don't do it anymore because I don't like it. Do I have any pets? Yes, Brady. Three cats. Oh, it's pronounced Jovin? Okay. Jovin. Got you. I will try to remember that. I can't promise that I will always remember, though. I'm not super great at remembering things. That's a big three. Oh my gosh. That might be a 274 plus. That's a big three. Like an absolute giant three. Ooh, don't be doing that. Nice, and he's floating. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Oh, we got a three over there as well. Beautiful. 
Herd management has been popping off recently. Uh, because it kills them quicker, Reed. Oh, we didn't shoot the great one because we're stacking them, Weston. We're stacking them to see how many we can get on the map before the new update. Just as uh, something different to do, right? We're trying to see how far we can push it, how far we can possibly take stacking great ones. Like, how many can we get on the map at once before the update? I mean, stacking is pretty simple, uh, Dylan. It's just not shooting them when they spawn. That's all there is to it. Um, each of these great ones that's on the map now took... I think in total, all four of them took like 3,000 kills to get on the map. Every time one would spawn, I just wouldn't kill it. 272.32. Not as big as I was hoping, but still a good buck. Let's raise the diamond count. Four fifty-three. Oh, and also, guys, we are about two hundred and eighty kills since the great one that was over here spawned. So, after he spawned yesterday, we killed like another two hundred and eighty deer. That's insane. Forgot to claim these, so let's get over and grab them. Um, I, I don't know, Corey. I, I'm pretty busy, man. If I if I don't see it, then I'm sorry, but I can't respond to every single message. A lot of times, if like uh, if I don't really have an answer to give, um, sometimes I'll just gloss over it because uh, I get quite a few messages every day on top of all the comments on YouTube and all that kind of stuff. So I can't respond to everything. Sometimes I don't even see it until like a few days after. 257. Okay, that one made it as well. Beautiful. Not too bad. Off to a good little start. Second run of the day had two of them. What does the new great one look like? It's another uh, cluster rack. Now, I had seen three here, but I think we only killed two. Yeah, we only got two of them. Uh, because we've got too many of them, AJ. We have 454 diamond whitetail over our uh, 22,000 kill grind. So, we don't tax the uh, diamonds that are under 274 anymore. TDK Hunter, thank you for the super chat. Really appreciate it. How am I doing? I'm doing good, man. Doing good. Just back on the grind, seeing what we can get today. Uh, no, fishing dude, I didn't. I don't really... Oh, wait, the one that floated in the water? Uh, yeah, we got that diamond. Still waiting for the typical rack? Yep, still trying to get it. It refuses to spawn. I swear. Like, it's the only rack I want. To be honest, if we get the typical rack to spawn, I'll probably just be happy with grinding there, and I'll probably stop the grind, and we can do something else, but I, I don't think we're ever going to get that rack. I, it just refuses to spawn for me. I'm just not lucky enough to get it. Wrong thing there. There we go. Uh, there's not really a true max score as it is a true rack species, Diddy, but uh, the highest I've seen is 276 for whitetail diamonds. As for great ones, I have no idea what the highest they've been known to score is.
Come on, Call of the Wild. Let me click the tent. There, there we go. <laughs> How many 274 plus have I taxed? Probably like 10 of them. 10 or so, give or take a few. Uh, no, Ed, there's been two that have had 276. There has been two 276 whitetail confirmed. The 275.5 is not the max. I know people assume that, but it's not. Obviously, the, the higher you get in the scores, the less it's going to happen. So the higher you get, the more rare it's going to be. Which is why, in most cases, people don't get one above 275, but a couple have got 276. It's just so absurdly rare that it's only happened a couple times. I mean, obviously, I don't have it on me right now, Ed, but... I've seen a couple posted in my Discord over the last uh, year or so. And see, there you go. X3's uh, friend has one as well. Thank you, Zord. Yeah, Ed, for sure, dude. Just like everybody thought that 271 was the highest Red Deer could get, but we know of a couple 272s. However, 272s are so insanely rare. It's similar to a 276 Whitetail. It's just so uncommon that really nobody ever gets them. And sometimes you just get some really weird true racks that do some weird stuff with the angles that they bend at. I've seen a couple, like... Really absurd trophies that I've never seen a another one of. A good example would be that a uh, tall rack, tall rack elk that Kill Clinton got. I've never seen one like it before. It seems to be truly a unique trophy. There's a three. And then uh, I know there's one person that's got a like 283 or 282 great one red deer or somewhere around that score, and I've never seen anybody else do that. And honestly, that's uh, that's something else that I grind for when I'm doing grinds like this. Not just the great ones and super rares and stuff. I'd also like to get one of those one-of-a-kind trophies that nobody's seen before. Or one that rarely shows up. I think that'd be really cool. Two seventy-two point six red stag. Yeah, they're super rare though, man. Like, I, I so badly want one. Um, as you can see, I've killed 848 Red Deer Diamonds, and I've never broke 271. Never broke 271 out of any of those. I, I so desperately want to get a 272, but I don't think it's ever going to happen. They're so freaking rare. I know, Hiram, no new great ones today, but we pretty much just started, like, 45 minutes ago. So it would not be surprised if it takes a while for us to get something going. There we go, diamond. 455. Oh nice, Zord, nice. Uh, yes, AJ, you can. I've actually done it quite extensively with Red Deer. If you, uh, check out the links that Caitlin just posted in the chat, or actually it was Turkey, but, uh, those two links right there, one of them is Red Deer Herd Management Guide, the other is a Whitetail Herd Management Guide. My Red Deer are, like, uh, the farthest I've ever took anything in herd management. I got to a point where I only had, like, 20 shootable deer on my map, and the rest were level 4 and below. And it got to a point where I was getting a diamond like every 15 to 20 kills with Red Deer. It was insane. I don't know if I'll ever be able to duplicate that grind. Because it is, uh, it's truly something special the way I have it. <laughs> We're trying to get there with Whitetail, but there's a lot more, a lot more zones to cover on Whitetail. Where's the rest of this herd? 
I mean, glad to see that all three of them are here this time. But the does are missing now. Yeah, Hank, I've got a few 271 red deer. I think I've got like four of them. Uh, Redneck Gucci, thank you so much for the membership. Really appreciate it. Enjoy the green name and chat, special badge icon, all the awesome emotes, ability to use commands, access to private Discord channels once you link Discord to YouTube, and access to my scrapped content on the channel. Really appreciate it. Hope you're doing great. What's my favorite moose great one? Uh, my dream moose great one would be if I could get the fabled birch fur type with the big non-typical rack. That would be my dream kill for the Great One Moose. Would love to get one of those. Because I just think it would look so insane. How do you become a member? So you can become a member by clicking the join button. And then it will bring up all of the membership options. Or you can also use the link in the description of the stream. Or the link that is uh, in chat right now. Once you click that, it'll give you all of the different options. Uh, Redneck, thank you so much for the super chat as well. What's your opinion on how to get more elk to spawn for diamonds and great ones? Ooh, um, well, there is no great one elk, so you won't be getting great ones with elk. But, uh, for diamonds, if you're doing Rocky Mountain elk, and I think Roosevelt's as well, I think both the elk species, you would just leave the twos and ones. Uh, kill threes and aboves, leave twos and ones. I believe that's how you would do it. But it can vary quite a bit between species. Holy TTK Hunter, a member as well now. Thank you so much. Enjoy the green name and chat, special badge icon, all the awesome emotes, ability to use commands, access to private Discord channels once you link Discord to YouTube, and access to all of my scrapped content on the channel. Much appreciated. Hope you're doing great. Why not use the 308 for the deer? Because the 300 kills them quicker, Gravity. And when I'm great one grinding, speed is my number one uh, thought process. When I, Whenever I go into a grind, I'm just thinking about what kills them the quickest so I don't have to track them. How much is a membership? It starts at 99 cents. I put it as low as it would let me. Um, first tier is 99 cents, and then obviously, like, for the people that want to, I've got higher tiers as well. But uh, the initial one is just 99 cents, and you get access to all the emotes. And uh, access to any of my, like, scrapped uploads that I upload as member-only videos. I think right now there's, like, seven or eight of them where essentially it's videos that I wasn't able to upload on the channel as a full one for one reason or another. A lot of times it's stuff that would have been out of date if I had uploaded it, but still wanted to put it out there since I put the work into making it. And so a lot of times I'll make those uh, member videos. I mean, that's kind of difficult, Jamarcus. They don't exist yet. The Great One Moose is not released. So it'd be very difficult for you to have one in your sights. All right, later, Weston. Thanks for dropping in. How many gigabytes do I have in my PC? Like, uh... You talking about my like storage capacity on it? Um, I've got quite a few drives, so I'm trying to think of what each of them is. Um, let's see. I have two 500 gigabyte SSDs. I have a one terabyte SSD, and then I've got a four terabyte external hard drive. So I, I guess like six gig, six uh, terabytes in total. But then again, I am, I am a content creator, so a lot of that is for video footage. 
A lot of that is for video footage. You think the Great One Moose will be my new favorite? Oh, it definitely will, Matthew. I think it's going to be really good. What's crazy is uh, I never, never thought a Moose Great One would be, like, my favorite because it wasn't even in my top five most wanted. I really wanted uh, both of the elk, black tailed Deer, Mule Deer, and Sika before a Moose, and Fallow Deer as well. But uh, they did so good on the Moose Great One that... Oh, we missed one. They did so good on it that I I really want one. Like, I really like the Great One Moose. They did so good on it. How did I miss this one, by the way? It's literally on the close shore. I never miss these. Yeah, Fallow Great One is going to be great, Carson. I cannot wait for a Fallow Great One. Really hope we get it soon. Imagine, thank you so much for becoming a member. Really appreciate it. Enjoy the green name and chat, special badge icon, all the awesome emotes, ability to use commands, access to private Discord channels once you link Discord to YouTube, and access to my scrap content on the channel. Really appreciate it. Okay, we're going to start our run over. We've been all over the place today, starting each run in different spots. Let's just go clear to the beginning and uh, run through the entire map. What should you do with herds that are just does? Uh, leave them. If it's just does, that means you never have to go there again. And so, to be honest, that's the type of stuff that you want to be seeing, right? Like, if it's a if it's a doe only zone, or if it's a zone with only level ones, that means you never have to go there again. So it's one less place that you have to check. Only one shootable here this time. What about over here? I see Lucky has no new friends. And no, I don't recommend shooting the does ever. I don't recommend ever shooting does. Uh, my diamond for the entire game is around 1900 now, Dylan. Most of them are red deer and white tail. But uh, I've got a few hundred of other diamonds as well. Okay, that's not normally there. Hello there, sir. You are weird looking. He should die pretty quick. Hey, Trevin, it's been great. It's been pretty good. Uh, maybe, Mr. Morad Hunting. It's possible. You never know. I'd say pretty much anything is possible with future additions to Call of the Wild. In many cases, it's all just based off of what people are wanting to see. That's how we got stuff like the Moose Great One. And the Red Deer Great One. And, uh... Waterfowl. Rework and the new Waterfowl species on Revlon Thule and stuff. If a lot of people want to see something, they'll typically add it eventually. Obviously within their limitations of what they're able to do with their graphics engine. But I could definitely see, uh, you know, more species like that coming into the game. Oh, and I'll be right back, guys. The sun just shifted and it's glaring off my monitor now, right in my face. I'll be right back. <laughs> All right. Now I can see once again. Amazing. That sun was insanely bright. <laughs> Ooh, don't you move. Hey. Hey. 
All right, should finish it off. Yeah, Shoto, for me it's 1.59 p.m. There we go. Yeah, maybe, Morad. That would be cool. I would love to see a new dog get at it eventually. Uh, we're stacking them, Elsie. We are stacking the great ones to see how many we can get at once. That's a big three. Why aren't you albino, though? Come on, man. Be albino. Gosh. <laughs> Such a rude deer. Not being a super rare. Gosh. Uh, just for fun, Blake. As a content creator, I'm always looking for new stuff to do, and since we've already killed a few great ones in the past, I'm just thinking to myself, like, what can I do to make it more interesting? What can I do that I haven't done before? And stacking them is one of those, so that's why we've been doing it. Want to see, like, how many we can get at once, and then kill them all at the same time. Because, can you imagine how insane it would be to have five great ones in a row in the Codex? If we can make that happen, that would be insane. Uh, CJ, thank you for the super sticker. Really appreciate it. Hope you're doing fantastic. And, uh, Eat My Dust, thank you for becoming a member. Really appreciate it as well. Enjoy the green name and chat, special badge icon, all the awesome emotes, ability to use commands, access to private Discord channels once you link Discord to YouTube, and access to my scrap content on the channel. Uh, I don't think there's any type of limitation, Rick. I think it's however you can get, however many you can get to spawn. I definitely have noticed that it is harder to get them to spawn as you go further into it. However, I think that's uh, very dependent on what racks you have on the map, right? Like, I've noticed if I get a big rack to spawn on the map, things start getting weird, but all the other ones don't seem to mess things up, so... I could totally see, like, six or seven being a possibility if you grind long enough. Uh, I'm not gonna grind that long, though. Because we're just grinding until the new update. What happens if you reset your perks? Uh, when you reset your perks, it will give you all the points back and then you can redistribute them throughout whatever you want them to be in. Couple decent bucks there. Uh, not really, Gavin. You haven't missed too much. We got a couple good diamonds. Other than that, uh, nothing crazy. What is a cycle in a grind? What do you mean by a cycle? I, I've never heard the term cycle, but, um, I'm going to assume you're talking about, like, a rotation. When you hear somebody talking about, like, doing a rotation or a run or something like that, uh, that just means hitting up all of your zones that you're hunting. So, like, uh, a rotation or a run would be me going around and hunting all the zones that I'm hunting. And then once you get to the place that you started, that would be completing that, uh, run. Uh, Justin, thank you so much for the super chat. Can I find the member button on your channel? Ooh, okay. Uh, in that case, try joining through that link that's a few messages below your super chat. That should work better. But, uh, thank you so much for the super chat. I really appreciate that. 
Very generous of you. Hey, it made it. 457 on that guy. Or 457 is the, the diamond number that he is. Then we got at least one over here. What map is this? This is Leighton Lake District. Um, if your zones are disappearing, Alex, you're either shooting too many animals out of it and deleting the zone, or you're shooting all of the animals that are tied to that zone. Don't have a lot, of, a ton of tents. Can you just do just a few lakes at a time? Oh, definitely gravity. It'll probably take longer to grind that way, but you can totally start with just a few tents. And then as you grind and earn money for more tents, you can purchase new tents to add to the grind. What rack is the newest great one? Haven't seen it. It's once again a cluster rack, Thomas. Once again, the cluster rack. Because that's like the only thing I get, I swear. Oh, I'm zero to 300. What am I doing? I was going to say what happened there. Then I realized that was zero to 300. Man, thank you so much for the super chat. Really appreciate it. Sorry, my grind a few days ago on Revlon Thule. Have two diamond white tail already. Any tips? Hope this helps. Um, first of all, thank you for the super chat. Really appreciate it. Um, I'm probably not the best person for tips on Revon Thule. I haven't hunted it a lot. I've not done a lot of whitetail hunting on Rev, so unfortunately I don't have too many tips I can give you there. Um, if you just want general tips for whitetail though, um, uh, first of all, what type of grind are you doing? Are you trying a herd management grind or are you just shooting all the bucks? M1 or 308? Uh, 308. 308 is better than the M1. I have actually done a side-by-side -side test on both of them before. And the M1 and the uh, 308, they are virtually the same. They kill everything pretty much identical times. But the only difference that's major is the 308 has less recoil, which makes it a better gun for grinding for sure. And just a better gun for follow-up shots in general. What's my favorite animal to kill? It's between whitetail and red deer. Um, hold on. Let me get that membership real quick. Uh, Justin, thank you so much for becoming a member. I'm glad you found the uh found the button. Glad I was able to work through the link. Thank you so much, dude. Enjoy the green name and chat, special badge icon, all the awesome emotes, ability to use commands, access to private Discord channels once you link Discord to YouTube. And access to my scrap content on the channel. Really appreciate it. Holy. And, uh, Luke, thank you so much for the super chat. Should I shoot troll level nines in herd management? Um, I'd say yes, because they're essentially the same as a level eight. They've got pretty much the same rack as a level eight does, so I would say yes, kill those. Basically, whenever you're stacking diamonds in the uh, grind to get more low levels on the map, it, the higher the higher scoring diamonds you can get, the better. So, I know some people that only leave the big racks, but I, I'd say any diamond is fine. But definitely shoot the troll rack level nines, as they uh, they're basically the same as a level eight. Guys, nice, Braden, I hope you've been enjoying the game. It's quite a bit of fun. Had anything? Uh, nothing too crazy yet, Duck. We had a few, uh, few diamonds here and there. Oh, lag? Am I lagging? I think I briefly lagged. Have you guys noticed any lag? It says I've dropped like 3,000 frames. There we go. 
Getting a ton of lag. Yeah, I kind of thought so. It should be good now, but we had a brief little spike there. I saw the uh, like viewer numbers drop from like almost 700 down to 400, so I immediately knew we had some lag. Because that's not like a normal drops for YouTube. Definitely noticed that there was some lag, and then I looked over and sure enough, we were having drop frames. Refresh the stream if you guys are still having issues. It should be good. It looks like it was just a brief thing. It should be good now. There was definitely three there, I think. Maybe not. Uh, Sam, thank you for the super chat. Got a 275 whitetail and latent whitetail grind. Should I set up tents near all my zones? Uh, yeah. Set up your tents in a way that you can cover a lot of zones. Especially if you're at the beginning of a grind. You want to be able to reach a lot of the zones in a reasonable amount of time, so... I'd put it in an area where maybe you're able to see a couple zones from the tent and then have a few others within walking distance. That's kind of how I set up mine when I was starting out. Because uh, I found it to be the most efficient way to do it. Because obviously early on you're going to be pl pretty limited with only 16 tents and over 60 zones in most cases, so you definitely want to try and cover multiple zones with a tent when you're starting out on the grind. For those of you that haven't uh, done it, or actually, could somebody... Uh, Caitlin, if you're still here, could you... Could you just type in chat to refresh the stream if... If they're still getting lag because it's good now. We're not getting any more drop frames, but uh, I'm going to assume I'm Going to assume that some people have not refreshed yet Luke, thank you for becoming a member really appreciate it. My gosh, you guys are killing it today on the memberships Holy thank you so much Enjoy the green name and chat special badge icon all the awesome emotes ability to use commands access to private dis discord channels and access to my scrap content on the channel. Really appreciate it. Uh, if you're claiming everything, Beast, that's probably just uh, bad luck then. But to be honest, uh, Great One Grinds, they, they take a very, very large variety of kill counts to get. Hey, I didn't see you over there, sir. Apparently my bullets didn't see him either because they missed. <laughs> Holy, Marco, thank you so much for the super chat. Greetings from Croatia. Wow, I don't think I've ever had anybody from Croatia in the stream. At least not that they've said, that is awesome. Welcome, I hope you've been enjoying things. And Ryan, thank you for the membership as well. My gosh, you guys are killing it today. Enjoy the green name and chat, special badge icon, all the awesome emotes, ability to use commands, access to private Discord channels, once you link Discord to YouTube, and access to my scrap content on the channel. Really appreciate it. You know, one of these days I'm gonna have to find like a new, a new like phrase to say whenever we get a new member, because that, that one gets my voice tired when I have to do it a bunch in a row. What, what could I end up saying instead, guys? Like, um... Something that's a little bit shorter and more simple, like maybe, uh... Welcome to the Scarecrew. Enjoy the green name and chat, emotes, and all the other awesome member perks that come along with it. How does that sound? Does that sound good? I think that it kind of covers the most of things. And then maybe at the end add like, be sure to join the Discord and link your YouTube up so that you can get access to the member channels. Oh, you didn't miss too much, T2. We got a few diamonds, but no rares, no great ones. Don't say anything. 
I mean, I guess I could just say, uh, thank you for becoming a member. Enjoy all the perks that come with it. And be sure to join the Discord and link up your YouTube so that you can view the member channels. I think that's good. Nothing there this time. What is the best DLC for Great One Grinding? Uh, the Tripod DLC 100%. You need the Tripod DLC. It's virtually a necessity with how much it helps with hunting pressure. Hold on guys, give me like about two seconds. We're having um, some maintenance done on our hot water heater and yeah, I gotta real quickly. Had to get my phone ready for, uh, for my wife for whenever the guy calls. I think we should be good now though. Let's get back to bopping whitetail. There just one deer here this time? Looks like it. Whitetail respawns are very strange sometimes. Like I have some runs where there's one or two bucks at his own and then other runs where there's like four. They're definitely strange sometimes. Hey Zyphon, how's it going? Shot your great one with a recurve, scary shot you've ever taken. Oh my gosh, dude! Yeah, that would be uh, that would be kind of sketch for sure. I'm not a not super great with the recurves and longbows personally. Personally, I'm not super great with them, so I couldn't even imagine doing that. Hey, Jaren, how's it going? Great one with the bow. We've done a couple with the bow before, but just not the uh, long bow or recurve bow. Never touching a recurve again. I don't blame you. All right, this herd's being weird. What are y'all doing? Two time resets and a main menu and they're still not here? That's not normal. I guess we're just gonna have to pass them up on this run. Same with that zone. Yeah, let's just uh let's just get back to the beginning of the run. Um, it's unknown as to whether it does cold, but I've got suspicions that it does kind of mess with things. I feel like uh not picking them up does seem to mess things up when it comes to getting great ones. You'll still get diamonds and stuff like that off of no claiming, but I definitely feel like it messes with great ones. Uh, Dante, thank you for becoming a member. Really appreciate it. Enjoy the green name and chat, special badge icon, all the awesome emotes, ability to use commands, access to private Discord channels once doing Discord to YouTube, and access to my scrap content on the channel. Really appreciate it. Gosh, I forgot to do the new, like, shorter one. I, I did our old, I did our old, uh, new member saying again. I gotta remember to... Do a shorter version. We've been having so many new members today. My voice is already dying from it. <laughs> you guys are insane. Going to be honest, the recurve bow is pretty bad with Amy. It's not great, Kathy, that's for sure. It's not super great.
218, 218. Thank you, Atrix. I'm glad that you're enjoying the uh, content. Glad that you're enjoying it. Also, is it Atrix or is it Atrix or Atrix? Uh, let me know how I'm supposed to pronounce your name. I'm, I'm not super great with pronunciation. Nice, Dante. I'm glad that you like the videos. Yeah, we got a few zones being weird recently. Which is not showing up on time. Oh, Atrix, gotcha. Okay. Yeah, I've I thought so, but I wanted to make sure. Okay, they actually are here, they're just tucked away. Um, what was that? Hmm. I don't know if the great one's right there, so. Gotta be careful here. That's him, okay. In that case, we can boop that guy. This guy's straight really far off this time. Wow, I've never seen him go clear over there. Nothing else in there. What should you do for when you just get got started in Call of the Wild? I mean, first thing obviously is leveling up, right? When you first start out, I'd probably say you'll want to go to Leighton Lakes and just do some of the missions, kill whatever you can. Another option would probably be uh, go straight to multiplayer, go to Tiabaroa, and just uh, look up a guide on red deer locations and then go find as many red deer as you can red deer give a lot of money and xp very fast got distracted chat and there i just kept walking uh going to the main menu resets the spook state of animals beast and a lot of times it will like force them into their need zones as well so it's a way to speed up the waiting process of a lot of things That way it doesn't take forever for them to get back. Uh, yeah, Brayden, I think if we get a fifth one, we're gonna shoot them for sure. Like the spook state of them, beasts. So basically, uh, if you've spooked them off by shooting other deer in their herd, uh, they will stay nervous for quite a while and will not come back to the area you shot them in. And so a lot of times you just go to the main menu, it fixes that. It'll make it so they're not spooked anymore. And then the other reason is sometimes if they're not at their need zones on time, you can just go to the main menu, go back into the game, and they'll be in their zone. You sometimes have to do it quite a bit before it works, but... It's, uh, you know, another way to get them into their zones, another way to get them to not be spooked anymore. I do, Scrupples. I do wish there was more levels than just level 60. I wish we could continue leveling up, even if we don't get any new perks or anything, just to be able to continue leveling up to kind of show how much you played the game would be uh, pretty cool. I mean, it essentially does the same thing, Beast, like going to the lodge, going to another map, going to main menu. They all do the exact same thing. I just do main menu because it's faster. But everybody's got their own ways of doing it. Every creator's got like their own theories on what works best. I personally just never needed to do anything more than a quick main menu. There's a three.
That's a pretty big three, actually, so maybe this will be a good one. Um, I don't know, Lavish. I'm not sure. I, I, I really don't know too much about it yet. We only just started doing Great One stacking, so... Hey, 272, that's a big mail. And that is diamond number 458. Amazing. Big mail. Big, big mail. What does shooting an animal in the head do? It will ruin the score of it. So if you shoot one in the head, the majority of animals, if you shoot them in the head, you will lose a diamond rating if it's a diamond. Like, you'll, you, you'll lose one metal ranking because it's not a uh, it's not a vital organ. It's considered the trophy organ of the animal. Uh, quite a bit, Elon. I, I do time spams a lot trying to get them into their zones. Definitely more than the majority of people would probably be able to do. As it does get very expensive to spam time resets. But uh, at this point in the grind, I'm just trying to be as fast as I can. Speed is the only thing I care about in the grind right now. It's being as quick and efficient as I can and trying to get the trophies to spawn as fast as possible. Of course, that little dude decided to float. But will the level three... No, hey, yep, troll. Mm -hmm. uh, yep, that seems about right. Hey, yep. Yep, that seems about right. <laughs> Love the trolls. Oh gosh, TTV. Holy. That's a... Ugh. Yikes. How many hours did it take to discover all my zones? If I were to take a guess, probably about 40 hours of consistently searching all of the areas that they can possibly be. So it wasn't a fast process, that's for sure. And even after finding all of them and doing herd management and stuff, even when I thought that I could abandon zones for the grind, like there was still a lot of times where I had to go back and check them, and they would have more level twos to shoot. So it's a it's a pretty long process of like finding the zones, turning them to ones, and all that. It can take quite a while. What are the recommended and most worth DLCs to purchase? Uh, so it's going to probably differ a little bit depending on who you ask. I personally think that the tripod DLC is one of the most important ones. Uh, the AR pack is very important as well as the 308 is such an insanely good rifle. Um, if you're on PC, you will need to purchase the tent DLC. But if you're on console, that comes along with the game for free. But yeah, if you're on PC, you'll need to buy that one as well. And then as far as other DLCs, I'd say the Yukon DLC, because you get a really good map as well as getting one of the best guns in the game, the 300 Magnum. I would also say that... Silver Ridge Peaks is like a... Uh, it's almost like a must-have. That map is regarded as one of the best in the game. A lot of people love it. A lot of cool, unique species and uh, just a lot of stuff to shoot in general. It's a lot of fun. Jordan, thank you so much for that membership renewal. Really appreciate it. Hope you've been doing great. Hope you've been doing great. That is crazy, dude. Hey, Sicko, I've been good. I've been doing good. Just been having a lot of fun with the grind. Gotta love autocorrect, Blaze. Gotta love it. What's the new great one? It is a cluster rack. And hopefully we'll have another new great one this run. How much time left for stream? Uh, quite a long time. There's at least another three hours of the stream. We're going to be going for quite a while like we have been. 
What's the cluster rack? I will show you at the next lake, Kyle. It'll be at the next lake. Don't run me over, ma'am. What's my thoughts on a series of me herd managing all species on my map? I I don't think I'd ever do that to be honest because it takes a long time to even get one herd management grind done. It uh, it takes a long time to get everything running properly, right? Like I have to kill thousands of the species usually to get herd management to a point where I'm consistently getting diamonds. So I don't think I'd ever be able to complete a series like that, especially since Every time a new map comes, we usually get new animals. It'd be like an infinite series. So this is the great one that spawned yesterday, Kyle. This is the brand new one. This is uh, the cluster rack. Yeah, that's a diamond potential. It'll just barely have a chance at making it, but still diamond potential. It definitely does get tough chicken. It's a very lengthy process. Two thirty-eight on that one. Yeah, it didn't make it. Kind of figured. What's the most common whitetail great one rack? It's definitely the cluster rack, like we uh, just took a look at. That's by far the easiest one to find. About forty percent of my great one whitetail have been that one. Beautiful looking level three. Uh, yeah, Landon, you can. What's my favorite map? I like Tiawaroa the most. It's a gorgeous map. Uh, you gotta keep looking, Tesla. If you if you haven't found more than that, there's definitely more of them. I would try maybe maybe changing your approach. Like uh one thing I've noticed is a lot of times the whitetail, they'll drink in these little tiny lakes that are off the side of the river. So try going up the left side, then resetting the time and going down the right side of the river. Deer can be clear up here. I've got zones clear at the top. I've got zones clear down in this corner over here. I've seen people get a zone clear down here. They can be in a lot of places you wouldn't expect. So you got to check the entire southern coast. You got to check all of this, all of Balmont. The lake to the right of Balmont. Uh, this lake down here can have them. All the lakes on the left side can have them as well, including this one clear up here. So you really got to go through and thoroughly check it all. Typically multiple times to be uh, sure that you've got them all. Two sixty nine. That's big for this rack. We've got bigger though, but that's a good one. Four fifty nine. Twenty one since our last great one though. What is the best place for whitetail? The entire left side of the map. Yeah, it is a nice rack. It is. I think the biggest one we have of that rack is like 271. So that, that one was big. That one was very close to being one of the biggest I've seen of that rack. Oh, nice, fishy boy. That's awesome. Mrs. Crow is in the building. Ah, uh, you just gotta work around it, Braden. I, I really don't know how to explain it. it you just got to find an angle that works.
What's the best spots to hunt for the whitetail bucks? Uh, I mean, everybody's map's gonna be a little bit different, but whitetail can only be on the left side on Layton, so look on the left side of the map. Yeah, I'm super excited for the new great one, Lisa. Super excited for it. Why no caps? Because it's obnoxious, Colby. And it, uh, it takes attention away from other people that are actually asking questions and stuff. Thank you, Marco. Thank you. I've spent quite a lot of time trying to really maximize my efficiency on this grind. Whoa. Two bucks here again? Okay. The deer have been wild recently. Just popping up in weird spots. Gotta find it, TTV. Gotta find it. Don't let it escape. Do I still zone swap animals? Not really, Axel. Is it normal that your 4,000 kills into your whitetail grind, 42 diamonds, still no great one? Yeah, that, that's a very normal number to be at Wendigo. Nobody is going to have an equal grind to another person. Everybody's grinds are a little bit different. I had two red deer take over 6,000, then I also had a red deer take 180. So it can vary quite a bit. I've also had a whitetail take 4,000. And then I've had a lot of white tail take around 2,000. And then there's the oddballs that took like 80 or 700. It, it's very inconsistent between two grinds. Like no two grinds will ever be the same for a great one. Got a couple more in here, but they were kind of tucked away. Ooh, we got it. Nice. That is what we like to see. Am I still stacking? Uh... Stacking the great ones, yes. Stacking diamonds, no. We already uh, got past the diamond stacking uh, phase of the grind. So right now we're pretty much just stacking great ones for fun to try and see how many we can get on the map at once. So far it's working out pretty good. Uh, not really stranger, we got a few diamonds but nothing else too crazy. Where did we headshot that one, though? There he is. Uh, no, Tesla. I don't really join anybody's maps because if I join one person's map, then I'm going to have a ton of other people asking me to join their map. And I, I don't have the time to join a bunch of different maps. I stream like five to seven hours a day on the grind and then... The rest of my time is dedicated to like editing, recording. It takes quite a bit of work to keep the uh, channel as consistent as it is right now with content. Unfortunately, I don't have too much time out of my day to uh, be joining random maps and stuff. I'm pretty sure that iBuy does that sometimes though. Pretty sure that I buy premiums over on Twitch uh, helps people out with their maps occasionally. So maybe, uh, maybe he'd be able to do it. You're probably breaking the rules, Charlie. 
That's the only reason anybody would get timed out is if you broke the rules. I don't like face cam, Justin. Heavy anxiety problems and uh, stuff like that, so I I'm sure you can understand. Being on camera is not my thing. Not my thing at all. That probably wasn't us then, Charlie. That was probably, uh... That was probably Nightbot catching, like, capital letters or something. Hey, Huntress, how's it going? Hope you're doing good. Come on, great one, where are you? Oh, I love herd management. He, I think it's a, an amazing thing. One ninety-seven and two twenty-seven. Any tips for someone? Gosh, that was a bad voice crack. I think that's my sign I need to drink some water and rest my voice. <laughs> oh my gosh, that might have been the worst one ever. I think I actually hurt my voice there. Oh no. I think I've been overworking my voice recently. Apologies guys, I'm gonna have to talk a little bit quieter. Gonna have to talk a uh, little bit quieter. <laughs> I've been going pretty uh excessive with the streams and the videos recently. I don't think I I don't think I can continue talking as as loud as I normally do. I don't want to uh, cause like permanent damage to my voice. I am Charlie, that's the thing. I'm drinking water, but I I think it's a bit the big thing is I'm not used to streaming this long it's not until recent that I started streaming this long how did do herd management just don't shoot the ones that's pretty much it you okay uh maybe JM pretty sure I'm just overdoing my voice like I'm stressing my voice out quite a bit from all the streaming and recording recently Because the way that I have my microphone set up, I have to talk in a pretty, like, higher, like, a high tone. In order for it to come through clear, so I'm practically, like, shouting all the time, basically. Like, this is what I sound like when I'm just talking normal. And then when I'm streaming, a lot of times it's like this, it's like, Hello everybody, how are you all doing? Hopefully we are going to get great ones today. So, there's quite a contrast between my normal talking voice and my, like, streaming voice. So I think that sometimes just like doing hours of that voice kind of kind of has a lot of negative effects on it. But because I've done that voice for so long, if I if I try to talk in a normal voice, then everybody asks me if I'm okay because I don't sound as energetic as normal. So uh yeah, it's like what what do I do? Keep on stressing my voice out or talking a little bit lower tone? Two forty-two. That's a solid deer. I mean, I suppose I could talk like this. You guys are still able to hear me properly, right? My biggest concern is always that it won't come through as loud as normal, and like I, I am obsessed with making sure my audio levels are perfect. I, the amount of hours that I've spent trying to get my like audio meters to hit like the perfect area all the time, so that it's not too loud, not too ear piercing, but not too quiet either. 
So I always am like obsessed with trying to make sure that the audio is perfect. So if you guys can still hear me fine, then I can just talk like this most of the time. I think it'll be better for my voice. And I'm sure part of it is just my voice uh, getting used to the long streams. Because even when I record, I'm only talking in the parts that are going to go in the video. So if I'm, if I'm like in between parts that are going to go in the video, I don't really talk. Like, this is a quite a, quite a difference compared to normal for me. But I mean, we got to go through the transition period. We got to make sure that I don't hurt my voice while doing these longer streams, but we will, uh, we'll keep going. How much longer will I stream? Uh, definitely a little bit longer when to go. We're going to go for a few more hours, probably. Uh, obviously dependent on how my voice does, because it seems that today's a bit of a rough day for my voice. To be honest, I think one of my big problems also is not drinking enough water or not drinking it often enough. Because usually I drink at least a glass or two of water during my streams, but there'll be times where I'll forget to drink for like two hours straight and then remember, and so I'll drink a bunch at once. I think really I just need to uh, get better at drinking consistently like every 20 minutes, take a couple sips of water. That'll probably help a lot. All right, three bucks we can take down here. Pick a number one to 30, uh, 25. How does 25 sound? I think 25 sounds good. Oh, really, stranger? It's uh, it's definitely good to stay hydrated as much as you can. Stacking diamonds to 25 now. This sounds good, cultures. I mean, that's a that's a good number. That'll get you pretty much uh, pretty much maxed out with your grind, right? Like typically, if you can get like. 25 or 30 of them as threes, right? Then you can get literally, you can try to get everything else to be ones. And then just have to worry about those uh, the respawns from the threes. Nice, Mora. That's awesome. That is awesome, man. Thank you, JM. I appreciate that. My voice may be having some issues right now, but I still appreciate you all being here. Uh, no, Cam, you will not keep any progress from one console to another. Um, everything is just going to be locked to that system. Like, if you, if you switch from one to another, you'll have to get all your games again. You'll have to regain any progress that you had in those games. Um, FW, nobody, thank you so much for the super chat. Really appreciate it. Hope you're having a good day. Keep it up. Thank you, dude. It's been good so far. Uh, trying to rest my voice a little bit, though, because I think I heard it. Pretty sure that I heard it from, uh, streaming so long these last few days. That was a cool level three. Not gonna lie, that is a very awesome three. What is this guy gonna score? 
257. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's an awesome deer. That tip to tip spread is wild. Love to see it. It almost trolled because of that tip to tip. Not gonna lie, when I first spotted him, I didn't even realize it was a level three. That's crazy. That's a cool one though. 241 next to him as well. All right, let's raise the diamond count to 460. We are slowly approaching 500 diamonds. 40 more to go. Do you think we can get it today? I don't think so. Where do Red Deer drink in Tiawaroa? I would say... For the most part, it's like a top half of the map. There is some drink zones on the river, kind of in the middle though. That's something to keep an eye on. I'd probably say best bet is checking out my herd management guide. Because I show off all the zones in that video as well. Yeah, we always get a couple here that are uh, level twos still. We added a new one to this zone last night. And uh, then out of nowhere, we get another one that's spawning here. So now we have two to shoot still. Crazy. 219, not bad. Uh, we're stacking them, Sawyer. We're stacking them. Well, it's because we've already seen them a bunch, Pretzel. We've been stacking them for quite a long time. Believe me, when I spotted them for the first time, like when each of them spawned for the first time, I, I was practically screaming. The one that spawned yesterday, I was so excited. But you know, when it's been on your map for a few days or a few weeks, then I'm not going to get excited every time I look at it, because I already know it's there. Advice on not getting bored on the red deer grind. Uh, take breaks whenever you need to. Don't be afraid to take a break from the grind if you're uh, if you're getting too burnt out on it. Uh, we just call that one the big rack, Mason. That one's just called the big rack. Uh, TDV, thank you for the 12 months. Welcome back. Hope you're doing great. What gun am I using? 300 Magnum. Come on, Lucky. Where's the luck, man? You haven't brought it today. We gotta get that luck from Lucky. But Lucky's not giving it to us. I mean, that's a wonky dude at least. Dale Pickle, thank you for the four months. Welcome back. Hope you're doing amazing. Okay, so not the greatest shot in the world. We may have uh, screwed some stuff up there, but you know, it it'll die still. That's all that matters. What's my favorite super rare? Um, I don't know. I'd say probably the albino 
The albino whitetail that I got off of Revon Tuli. That's probably my favorite super rare. Because it's got my favorite rack. Just shot a great one, Whitetail Deer. Really happy. Nice pizza man. That's awesome. Congratulations. <laughs> I I don't think that would end well, TDV. I don't I don't think that would end well. Whoa, two over here. Okay, that's different. I've never had two show up at that zone. They're not going to die anytime soon, but we got them at least. That's wild. That's the first time I've had two in that zone. Um, I saw a crow and it got scared of me, uh, Heat, so I was like, yeah, I'm a scarecrow. Nothing over there. Yeah, these deer are being stubborn this run. We got stubborn deer everywhere. Best gun for the whitetail grind. Uh, 300 magnum for the non-diamond deer. And then 308 for the diamonds. How far away should your tent be from the zones? Typically like 180 to 200 is good enough. Uh, yeah, Solari, I've, I've played uh, Red Dead Redemption uh, 1 before. I haven't played the second one, but I've seen a lot of people play it. Just uh, never got into it myself. Probably, Siphon, probably. I scared a crow. He ran away and was like, whoa! He was Scarecrow. And I'm like, yeah. Yeah, I'm a scarecrow. That's right. Uh, yeah, Jared, it's fine. In fact, that, that's great. It means you never have to look at that zone again, right? If it's filled with does, then typically it can't get any bucks. At least on my grind, any doe zones I've had never got any bucks. Of course he gets behind her. Um, uh, hmm. Like 271. I think we can do this. Oh. Now we can for sure. Of course he's behind her. He's silly deer. Oh, he's hiding so well. Perfect. There we go. It is, Jarv. It's a great game. Uh, no, I've never hunted whitetail IRL. Sadly, Oregon really doesn't have much options for whitetail. It's primarily blacktail and mule deer. Options are quite limited for whitetail deer. And in most parts of Oregon, you're not allowed to shoot them. Max weight. Or at least that's how it was last time I checked, which was like six or seven years ago. All right, guys, I will be right back. Going to take a quick restroom break and then we'll be back.
right, we're back. That's a decent one. That should make it. That one should, should, should make it. Actually, I take that back. That, uh, that rack's a bit too tight. Yeah, definitely not gonna make diamond, but, uh, still a decent one, though. Not bad, Buck. Okay, thank you for the, uh, super chat. Really appreciate- Whoa. Never seen that before. I've never seen a message get retracted from a super chat. But anyway, thank you for the super chat. Really appreciate it. Unfortunately, I don't- I don't know what it said, because you retracted it. Yeah, it didn't make it. Kind of figured with that rack. What should the next great one be? Uh, fallow deer, black tail deer, or mule deer. I, those would be my top three. With uh, Roosevelt elk and Rocky elk very, uh, very close behind. But I mean, depending on the day, that order might change, you know. There's a lot of different stuff I'd love to see become a great one. Really? They're just gonna... Just gonna... Just gonna hide like that? So rude. He's definitely hit, I think. No? Now he is. A great one duck? That'd be interesting. That would definitely be interesting. Uh, you definitely, I, I, I don't think you've ever got one, Dump. If you have, please post it, because I would love to see a, uh, Mela Great one. Please post it in, uh, in the Discord if you've got one, because I would love to see that. Great one. Brown Bear would be cool. Yeah, that'd be cool, Noah, for sure. It could be, like, all beat up and scarred up, super, like, muscular looking bear. Maybe missing, like, a, a leg or something to make it even more battle-torn looking. Maybe, like, a super old bear, right? Like, a super old grizzly bear. Or a brown bear, whichever one you would want it to be. I think you said brown bear. But imagine one that's like super old and like, you know, just has a lot of uh, aging, so like signs of aging throughout its fur and stuff like that. It's got maybe like an arrow stuck in it from a previous hunter. Or maybe it's got like a bear trap caught on its leg. You know, there's a lot of things they could do with a uh, great one brown bear. There's definitely a lot they could do that would be that making it different from... Uh, the black bear. Definitely could be a lot of things they could do. What about a great one, Cape Buffalo? That would be stunning. I would love it. That's been uh, something I've wanted for a while, though. It's one of those great ones where, uh, it's not, it's not a top five pick for me, but if they're gonna do a horned great one instead of a antlered great one, I would definitely say that Cape Buffalo would be a fantastic option for it. I remember years ago people were talking about Great One Cape Buffalo. Like, uh, shortly after the Whitetail release, I remember Great One Cape Buffalo was one of the more talked about possible future great ones. Everybody wanted to see it. And then as time went on, things shifted. People wanted red deer quite a bit, so we ended up getting a red deer. Then around the release of the red deer, people started wanting a fallow deer. And then uh, after the whole like hype for a possible fallow deer died down, uh, people started wanting a moose. 
And now we're finally getting that moose, so... I wonder if we'll get a fallow sometime after that. I hope so. I, I really think the fallow needs a great one. Fallow deer looks so good. That's a big three. Another big three with our great one. Um, I don't think so, Eli. Not that I've seen. Nope, too risky. Not shooting that. Nope. Yeah, I was gonna say I highly doubt I highly doubt that Dump actually killed a, a melanistic great one. It, none of them have ever been killed, so. There's never been a legitimate one confirmed. The only one that we've seen on PC is LC's albino. And then there's a couple fabled pieball that have been killed on console. But it's been over a year since those were killed, so... We haven't seen anything recently. And a lot of people in the community suspect that maybe rare Great Ones are bugged. Because back when they released the Great One Whitetail Deer, a TK talked about... Uh, that's definitely not from me, Fisher Games. That's definitely not from me. I, I don't email people, so... If you ever receive an email and they say it's me, it's not me. I can promise you that. Um, I don't do giveaways like that. The way I do giveaways whenever I do them is I will reply to your comment and then ask you to respond to me in Discord through my Discord. That way I you know for a fact that it's me. If you get like a random email or something, it's uh, it's a scam. There's been a lot of scams going around recently, so do your best to try and avoid them. If you haven't uh, explicitly seen me advertise a giveaway and you never like entered a giveaway, then it's probably a scam because I uh, I announce all of my giveaways before I like choose winners. Most of the giveaways I do are based on like uh, competitions in a way. Oh no, Noah, that's not good. That's not good, man. All great ones should be Mela or Albino. I don't know if all of them should, but I definitely do think that some great ones could be like a Melanistic or an Albino. That would make it pretty cool. Well, I haven't either, uh, TTV. Most of the time, even when I was younger, I would be more likely to get angry over a game than, uh, than, like, actually get... Actually, wait a minute. I have cried... I have cried over a video game once, but it was because it was very, um, emotional. So, not the same, I guess. I guess that's a little bit different because it's the story. Um, back the first time... The first time that I played the Life is Strange Before the Storm... And I believe the first Life is Strange as well. I teared up during both of those because the, the storyline is just so good in those games. But I'm a massive fan of the Life is Strange series, so I get super invested in those games when I play them. We might need to main menu real quick. I don't think we did. It was, Solari. I love Life is Strange. I played it a long time ago when I didn't do YouTube. It was back when I did, like, just Twitch. And, yeah, I, uh, I played through... I played through them on Twitch. I actually did a playthrough here on the channel of the newest one, Life is Strange, uh... True Colors. I enjoy that game, too. Like, all, all of the Life is Strange series has been so good. Yeah, exactly, TTV. I feel like the, um, I feel like there's a lot of games that have, like, such a good story that it can really get you. Yeah, I've never been, like, uh, 
super upset over like something I did in the game. It's always like the storyline that gets me. I think I did tear up a little bit first time playing the original Walking Dead game. Because it does get kind of sad throughout it. Um, I just stack the great ones just to have them, Oak. It's not for any actual gameplay purpose. It's just to, just to have great ones on my map. And just to see how many we can get and then shoot them all at once. The big thing for me is a wanting to be able to shoot a ton of them back to back. And so we've just been keeping them on the map until we get like five. We're at four right now. We're trying to get to five. If we can get to five, we're going to kill them all. I don't know, cultures. Everybody's been kind of absent from the stream recently. Why stack diamonds, though? Uh, stacking diamonds forces more level ones on the map for herd management. That's why you stack diamonds. Which is why I'm no longer doing diamond stacking because I already got all my level ones. But during the first part of the, uh, during the first part of the grind, like the first few thousand kills, we were stacking level threes in our favorite zones so that we could get level ones in the zones we don't like. Because it essentially drives up the average score to force more lower levels. Uh, yeah, TDB, you do. So it, it basically works hand in hand, right? You stack more ones to get level threes. Eventually, though, you're going to get to a point where you've got so many ones that the game doesn't want to spawn anymore. And at that point, you can stack level threes to get even more level ones because you're driving that average score up by getting those threes stacked on the map. And so what a lot of people do, including myself, is we will stack the diamonds in our favorite zones. That way they don't turn to level ones and then go around and shooting down all of the bucks that are in our least favorite zones until they turn to level ones. So for a while I was purposely grinding my most hated zones just to try and get them to be level one. Don't teleport again like yesterday. Please no. Uh, I don't like, I don't like how he's sitting there. That's... Knowing my luck, he would teleport like yesterday. Oh, that was sketchy, but we got it. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Yeah, there's a buck we need to take. Yeah, it's really just a matter of wanting to minimize the amount of places you have to go, TTV. Like, uh, I didn't have to do it on Leighton either. I could have just kept going with what I wanted, but I wanted to even further limit the places I had to go. And, I mean, you can see how things are now. I've got so many of my zones in so few areas now because I've turned these into my main zones and turned the rest to level ones. Like, uh, I don't even hunt the river anymore because the majority of the deer here are level one. Oh my gosh, I still have a tent here. I forgot I left a tent here to check up on this zone because we had recently turned it to level ones. And I wanted to be able to come back here and check it. I forgot we had a tent here. Thank you for uh, for mentioning that TTV because now that made me look at the uh, river and realize that we had another tent. Provided this is still all ones and fence rack twos will be good. Okay, that's a fence rack. Because there was a couple zones here that I was trying to shoot down when we had the Big Rat Great one on the map. And I think I got them. I think everything's good. Yep, these are all ones and does, and then that one fence wreck. Alright! 
There we go. We can remove this tent. Beautiful. Love to see it. Yeah, that one looking good too. Oh my gosh. What are we going to do with this tent? This opens up a whole new uh whole new level of things that we can do. We could try to find another area that needs to be shot down. Do I have any other zones? I think I've got a couple up here that still had a two or two. I know this zone did. We could add the tent up there and try to shoot those down to level ones. Or even just add it back into the rotation as well. Get it, TTV. Get it. Kill it. Get that spider before it gets away again. Hey, Cold, how's it going? Should do a neck shot for one of the great ones? I like the way you're thinking. I like the way you're thinking. That could be, uh, that could be cool, actually. I would probably use the 223 or the 243, though. That way, if I mess it up, it won't die. Would definitely have to be smart with a kill like that. Because that would be insanely sketchy. But I totally think I could next shot one. I've I've gotten pretty good at next shots, so I think we could try that. My biggest fear would be that it would move as I shoot. Aw, oh, come on. My biggest fear would be that it moves as I shoot and I hit the head, though. So that could be a problem. You can leave level two fence racks. Ease some of them. I wouldn't recommend leaving every level two fence rack, but let's say you're trying to get the last deer in a herd to become level one. If you've already got like two or three level ones and you're just trying to get that final two to come back as a one and it comes back as a fence rack, then I'd probably leave it. They do score slightly higher than ones though, so I don't recommend leaving every fence rack you see. Only occasionally if it's like the last one in the zone. All right, just like this one. See, this was the last one I needed in this zone, so we left it. Let's go check the rest of the areas up here. I should probably reset the time, though. Let's reset the time and go check the other areas. Shoot a great one with high heart rate. Oh, that would be another one. I could maybe shoot a great one without holding my breath. That would virtually be the same thing. Because, I mean, without holding the breath, this is what it looks like. So I'd be constantly moving my mouse to try and compensate for the, uh, the breath. Or for not using the breath. Uh, we're stacking them, Deer Slayer. What time are deer normally at their zones? Well, they're supposed to get there at 8.30 and then be there until, uh, 12.30. However, some zones are late. Oh, they move them around a lot, Blake. They're in different areas than they used to be. A lot of the lakes and even the coast in the south of Rancho have whitetail. Oh, no, duck. I mean, at least it's better than being like 110 degrees, right? At least when it's cold, you can bundle up in some blankets or a coat or jacket. If it was like 110, like and you don't have AC or anything like that, then good luck. I honestly prefer the cold over heat. For that reason exactly. If it's super cold, I can always bundle up. But if it's super hot, like... Your, your, op your, really, your only option is like an AC. Or like swimming to cool down. Hey Vine, how's it going? We're just going around some of our uh, zones and... Trying to see if any of them have level twos because we got a we got a new tent available. So we're gonna see if maybe we can find an area that has regained bucks. And see what we can do. Finally got another red deer diamond. Nice, Omastar, that's awesome. Um, I don't know, uh, DBP. I'm not a big fan of Mississippi. 
We might do it at some point, though. It'll likely be after the Great One Moose Grind gets done, but... At some point, we'll probably go back to Mississippi. Maybe for a video. I don't know if I'll stream it, but... I might do a Mississippi for a video. Because I do plan to visit every single map in the, uh, the new account playthrough. So you can definitely expect a Mississippi video for the new account. We got one zone that can be right here, so we'll check this real quick. Last I looked, though, it was just level ones. And I think a fence rack, too. Uh, I don't know if I should do that for you. So the thing about the fail wheel is it's something I have to get done in that video And I can't do an entire great one grind and toss it at the end of a video, right? The the fail wheel has to be things that I can do the day that I'm recording it That'd be kind of cool Sam. I don't know how they would uh, introduce a great one wolf It sounds about right duck Spiders, uh, they can be terrifying for sure. Especially depending on, like, what type of spider it is. Luckily, here in Oregon, there's really not any super dangerous spiders. I mean, we've got the brown recluse, but they really are not that common. And I believe it's the same for, like, uh, black widow spiders. There's some... But they're really not, not that common at all. Luckily, Oregon doesn't have a ton of them. So most of the spiders we run into are just like uh, wolf spiders. I'd say they're really some of the worst. Hobo spiders suck, though. Hobo spiders are pretty rough. What the? Coyote? Okay. Random coyote, I see. Oh, yeah, JM. I, Australia's got a ton of dangerous stuff. It, doesn't Australia have, like, some of the largest amounts of, like, dangerous animals and spiders and bugs? I'm pretty sure I heard that somewhere that Australia's got, like, one of the highest amounts of super dangerous animals and insects and stuff like that I've heard there's a lot of dangerous ones oh is that a new herd it is that's a new herd oh my gosh when did you guys become a thing how was I not aware of this I've ran through this area so many times this must be recent this is this is what I've been telling you guys like every time somebody asks me like I've already gone through my map, I've checked everything multiple times, but I can't find any more zones. This, this is what can happen. I've gone through this area a good 10 plus times during my grind. Never seen a zone here. It's hard to say if it just recently showed up, or if it's always been here and I've just never seen it, but it's never been here when I've walked through before, so... Crazy. Oh yeah, the thing about long legs though is what you know what's crazy? Uh the granddaddy long legs actually is a it actually is a venomous spider. Or well they're technically not even a spider, to be honest, but they technically are venomous, but their mouth is so small they can't actually bite anyone. And so they're not dangerous to humans because of that, but you know, they find a, like a little bug and bite it. It's game over. That bug's gonna have a bad day. Oh my gosh, there is a zone here. Wow. Five, okay. Well, guys, we have a new zone that we gotta rotate on from now on. How did I not know that this one was here? Luckily, we got that new tent that we were able to free up. Hey, 
Hey, Brayden, I'm doing good. Doing good. We just discovered that there's been a zone here this whole time that I never found, so... <laughs> that's probably the most interesting that we've had... Interesting thing that we've had happen today. This is going to be kind of an annoying one to hunt as well. I feel like KC has this exact zone. Seems like an annoying one to hunt. Actually, can I see it from up there? Let's try this out. I want to see if I can just see it from here and then shoot them from there. Uh, 16 tenths and 32, Jacob. Oh, got you, Blitz. Gotcha. That's crazy. Also, how's it going, Blitz? Yeah, we can definitely see this. Trees might be an issue, but... Should be fine. Can we do a tree stand here? Let's see. Yeah? But will it stay up? Oh, beautiful! Oh, that is great! That is amazing! Now, provided the beavers don't strike, this will actually be pretty good. Let's main menu, see if we can get them back here. And if we can, we're gonna try and take them down. There's gonna be at least two we can shoot here, because we saw the smaller level two, and we found an 85 to 100 track. I think there was a level one with them as well, from what I saw. All right, so let's go ahead and reset the time as well. Oh, got you, Blitz. Got you. Did not know that. Yep, there's the deer. Oh, there's... Oh, there's... Wow, there's three bucks. Okay. So this is a three shootable buck zone. It said it was a herd of five. Wow, there's been three shootable bucks here all this time. Okay, two does, perfect. That's crazy. Um, I'm probably not gonna claim from this zone though because these are quite far away. So this will probably be one of the few zones where we don't claim them. We just need to get rid of them. We need to get them down to level ones if possible. I might start stacking diamonds again so we can try and force that zone to be ones. Because I don't want to have to go to that zone. I know, right, Caitlin? That whole zone could be throwing us off. So I guess we're back to stacking diamonds so we can get that zone to become ones. Nice, Pioneer. Nice. Uh, the crossbow's in the first weapon pack, Deer Hunter. There's a buck right there. Looks like one there. Maybe not. Okay, so it's just one shootable. Good to see. Gotcha, Blitz. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I kind of figured that they weren't like a deadly levels of venom, but I know it's not pleasant to be bit by a Black Widow. Never been, never actually seen a Black Widow or a, black, a brown recluse here in Oregon, but I have 
put my hand right next to a false black widow. And uh, supposedly those hurt pretty bad, so I'm glad I didn't get bit by it. From what I was reading up on it, it, it seems like uh, false black widows hurt like crazy when you get bit by them. But they don't actually like, they don't have any like harmful uh, venom or anything. They're everywhere in Texas? Oh no. How many super rares do I have? Uh, 10 of them currently. Well, hello there, sir. Ah, double floater, come on. <laughs> All the while just making them float today. Yeah, it's just been like a full-on spider talk chat today. <laughs> That's for sure. Yeah! Wait, are you- wait. Oh, are you talking about the the colored peccary grind? Okay. Yeah, I don't know. I'm I'm not sure if the females will affect the uh, the males or not. I'm not sure how that works. I guess it's possible, Kaylin. I guess it's possible that maybe those level three females are affecting it. Well, not a good shot on that one. Oh. Okay, we'll take it. <laughs> Two right there. Barrel go drink time. I don't know if they've changed it, but it used to be 12.30. Have they changed feral, feral goat time with the uh, rework? I don't know if they did. I don't quite remember. It's 15 to 18? Interesting. Yeah, Caitlin, I, I definitely think that that could be a possibility. Like, I never thought into that before because uh, Red Deer and Whitetail don't have high level females, so I've never really had to think about it before. I suppose it's totally possible it could be affecting it. Uh, first of all, I appreciate that, uh, Castrol. It, it's really just a lot of, uh, a lot of game time, really. I've played around 4,500 hours of Call of the Wild and have uh, spent a good majority of it doing content on YouTube, so... I guess a lot of it's just experience. Experience that I've gained over the years. Ah, uh, you could try what we're doing, Hayden. Try, uh, herd management out. It seems like it does pretty good for great ones. What is the best gun to use for Red Deer, in my opinion? If you don't care about getting the full metal rating, I would say use the 300. If you want to get full score, use the 308. 308, 303, M1, they're all really good for it, so... You can just take your pick of those three, if you want to get full score on them. Oh, don't worry about it, BFL. Uh, it, it takes a while to get to the point that I'm at right now. I'm doing a beginner series on the channel right now, though, if you're interested in that. It'll kind of, uh... I'm gonna be basically just leveling up a brand new account from level 1 to level 60. And uh, talking about methods to help level up, uh, tips and tricks, so that actually might be a, a good series for you. Gonna be releasing episode 2 of it tomorrow, actually.
Is that a pie? No. Not a pie. Was hoping it would be a pie. Okay, the other one didn't pop out. Yeah, no problem, Cameron. I'm glad you enjoy it. How do you retire unwanted zones for Whitetail and Layton? Uh, it really just comes down to, first of all, you gotta know exactly how many deer are in that zone. So, let's say you've got 10 deer in the zone, which would typically be two different herds. Oh, and I lost my train of thought there. Okay, we're gonna keep that three. Because we're going to stack them up again, try to get this new zone to turn down to ones. On. Theory to why Big Racks spawn too many level ones since there's man based off weight distribution of animals. Big Racks weigh so much higher than other whitetail pushes down. Weight spawns a lot. Maybe. Hard to say. I don't know. I, I'm stumped as to why the... Uh, why the big rack affects things so much. Because, like, uh, the two cluster racks that I've got on the map, they're typically around, like, the 105 mark, right? And, like, the big racks are usually, like, between one, like, 107 and 110, if I'm not mistaken. So it's not that big of a difference, really. Those mid rack ones are only a couple kgs lower. So I don't know. It makes me wonder why it, why it would be that if it is. But then again, herd management's full of so many things that we don't know. Do you think there will maybe come elephants or snakes into the game? Maybe at some point, BFL. They haven't announced anything. They haven't even talked about it recently. It's possible, though. They once told us we would never get uh, ARs in the game, and we ended up getting them, so... I, I wouldn't completely write it off, but they haven't talked about it yet. I still personally think that someday they might bring elephants to the game, but... They've never really talked about it too extensively, at least recently. And I think a big reason for that is because they don't want to get hopes up if they're not able to do it. Uh, yeah, Jet Lucky's still alive. We've still left him. He's our lucky piebald. We gotta leave him. Alright, let's see what the new zone's got. Have we got our respawns here yet? Uh, no, Hiram, you cannot swim in the game. Level 2, Diamond Potential. That's not where I wanted one to spawn. Watch, we're going to get a great one in this zone. Calling it. We're trying to get rid of this zone, so we're going to get a great one in it instead. <laughs> I can just, I just bet that's going to happen. Oh. Also, only two of them showed up. Wait, no, there's the third. Where were you hiding, sir? You know what? If they continue to be super consistent like this, we might actually use this zone. As much as I'd like to not have to use another zone, if it ends up being a super consistent one, maybe we'll have to use it. In fact, I got an idea. How about instead of shooting this zone down to level ones, let's just try to finish shooting this zone down to level ones. We only need like two more there and then we'll be good.
What if they had boats? Um, I mean, now that they've got boats in the angler, I could see it being possible. They would have to rework a lot to do with uh, how stuff interacts with the water in the game, though. That probably wouldn't be an easy process. Because currently, Call of the Wild's water is pretty stationary. Stationary? Stationary. Yep, that's how we that's how we talk. It's pretty stationary, right? So it doesn't move much. There's like no life to the water in Call of the Wild. So they would have to redesign how water is. And I wonder if that's how that's why they haven't done it. Because they would probably have to redo all the water. Because they would have to be able to react to the boat going through it. Not a diamond. And we messed up on both those others. All right. Uh, yes, Sam. However, once you've turned a zone to level ones, I would keep checking it for about 10 to 15 more runs just to make sure you don't get any new ones showing up randomly. Because sometimes you'll have uh, late ones. I've had a few occasions where I thought a zone was all ones and then like 10 or 15 runs later, a level two shows up out of nowhere. Oh, it's so sketchy. Oh. Stop taking those shots. I gotta do it. I gotta do it. The efficiency. Uh, it's going good, Glitch. It's going good. Um, it's not about getting the respawns, Elon. The only reason I reset is to make them walk back to their zone, so... Respawns have to walk back to their zone after they spawn. And sometimes if you do resets, it can speed up that process. And kind of like force them to get back there quicker. What's my favorite gun in the game? I like the 308 the best. Hey, C87. Yeah, that's, uh, that's been a while ago. I remember when, uh, when it was like that. It was, uh, definitely different times. Back when, uh, back when I first started streaming on YouTube exclusively. Where's my favorite zone? I don't think I have a favorite zone. I, I don't really like picking a favorite zone because... I'm always moving stuff around, dependent on how my map is changing. And also, I try not to say like what my favorite zone is because a lot of times people take that as the best place they should hunt and everybody's map's different, so I don't want to give people false hope with a specific zone. I used to always talk about like best zone, like this is the best zone to go to, this is my favorite zone. But then I always had a lot of people being like, well, my map's got nothing on there. There we go. Couple more. Uh, Whitetail zones are on the left half of the map, Braden. Where do you find... Okay, I already read that. Just getting back into watching streams. You're my go-to streamer. Thank you, Sam. I appreciate that. Glad you like the content. Oh, I've never done a 24 hour stream, a uh, hunting guy. You must be thinking of somebody else, because I've never done a 24 hour. Most I ever made it to is 12.
Sadly, no Brantley. I've went hunting a few times in real life, but never had any luck with it. Um, I don't know if it was Kill Clinton either. He's done, he's attempted a 24 hour, but I don't think he made it the entire way. Um, Flinter does 24 hour streams. Maybe it was Flinter you're thinking of? All right, don't see any more there. What was my first diamond? Um, my first diamond was a red deer back on Parque Fernando. Holy, three deer. Three deer are here. Missed. Got him that time, though. Oh, that's unfortunate, Dale. You'll find another, though. I promise you, you will find another one. Uh, biggest thing, just take your time whenever you're uh, aiming at a trophy. Nice, Caden. Um, there's been people that have said you can, Melton. I haven't got it to work with Whitetail, though. Not consistently, at least. Um, for a while with Red Deer, it was feeling like I could. Like, it really felt like I was able to swap them, but the more I tried it, like, the more I hunted them, they would always just switch back to what they previously were, so... I I don't know if that's actually a thing anymore. I know you used to be able to swap does and bucks, but it doesn't seem like it happens consistently anymore. Nice, Caden, that's awesome. Uh, no, Hiram, I'm, I'm not even gonna attempt it. Whoa, 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 where, where were both of you? Excuse me? Well, I can't shoot both of them because of pressure. But I can blast one of them. That was out of nowhere. Where were they from? Yeah, he's not even dead yet. Do we know when New England is coming out? Not as of now. Most likely mid-December, possibly early December if we're lucky, would be my guess. We gotta be getting close. We gotta be getting close. Yeah, Fusion, we're back to stacking threes because we found a zone that was new. We found a new zone, so we're leaving the threes again. Because we're trying to get another zone to turn to ones since we uh, just discovered this new zone I didn't know about. We found a zone right here. And it has three bucks in it, so... We've added that to our rotation. We're trying to shoot down one of the zones. Uh, it's kind of random for him, Ghost. I don't think Casey has a set stream time. He kind of just streams whenever he's able to. We also try to stream at different times. That way you guys don't have to pick between one stream or the other.
He was supposed to have Mondays off. Yeah, I, I heard him say that. Like I was saying, I don't think KC's got like a real like fully set schedule. Because when me and him were talking, he was going to take Saturdays off just like I do. And then he switched it to Mondays. And then he streamed today anyway. So I think he just kind of streams whenever he feels like streaming. I don't blame him. I sometimes stream on my day off, so... Normally I take uh, Saturdays and Wednesdays off, but... Saturday evenings, I just... I have so much fun with those streams. There's typically more people that are able to watch them because it's Saturday. And uh, streaming late, usually a lot of people from other countries that normally can't watch the stream because of uh, time zones are able to watch as well. So I've started doing Saturday evening streams every once in a while because they've been a lot of fun. I'm calling it right now. Our next great one's going to spawn in this zone. It's going to spawn in this new one. All right, only two bucks this time. Yeah, this is going to be a weird zone, I got a feeling. Hold on, can we view this zone from here? Nah, it's 458 away. There's no way. Nice, Anthony. Nice, man. Yeah, we can't see that one from here. All right, guys, we're going to take a break. It is uh, time for me to eat some lunch slash dinner, as always. We've been going for about three hours, so we're going to take a quick break. Quick break, get some food, and uh, also get uh, a little bit of little bit of exercise. Going to go stretch for a little bit. I'll, uh, I'll leave you guys next to Mr. Go. And not, not that you'll be able to see him, but, you know... <laughs> I'll be back, guys.
How y'all doing? Y'all ever heard of white-tail deer? Never heard of them till now. Somebody tell me the white-tailed deer are a thing and that they're in this game and I was like, nah, you're lying. How's everybody doing though? That's just shorts for you, nun. Uh, it's all about hitting that algorithm, right? Some projects that you post will hit the algorithm, others won't. Kinda just how it is on YouTube. Okay, nothing here. Alright. How's everybody doing though? It was actually a sub sandwich, uh, G man. I had a uh, had a sub sandwich. Delicious. It, it's been months since I've had one, so I was pretty excited for it. But how's it going, G man? Hope you're doing good. This herd is always so tough to see, but I do like that we reintroduced this zone to our grind because it at least condenses them in a pretty uh, small area, even if it's not a super consistent zone to hunt. Oh, that sounds like file corruption, Howie. Unfortunately, I don't think there's anything that support could do to help you there. File corruption is something that is just out of their, uh, it's out of their hands, unfortunately. Sounds like that's what is happening to you. Sounds like, a uh, population file for Whitetail or the Need Zone file, like, whichever one it is. Sounds like it got messed up. We're actually gonna keep this one because that's Diamond Potential. Since we're trying to stack again to... Force some more uh, level ones into a couple of the zones that we're hunting. We're gonna leave that one. Uh, yeah, Jet. I'm sure it is possible. It's uh, not easy, but I think it'll be possible. Both myself and I buy premiums have managed to get it to four, and so have some other people as well. Uh, we don't know if five is going to be easy, though. It, it seems like five is pretty tough. Best way to move ones out of your good zones and get ones into others. So the way that I did it was... Uh, anytime a one would spawn in one of my good zones, I'd kill it. Anytime a three would spawn in one of my good zones, I would leave it. And then vice versa for the other zones. For zones that you don't want, you kill the threes and leave the ones. And then eventually you'll end up stacking up a bunch of diamonds in your favorite zones and that'll make it easier to get those ones in the other zones that you're trying to get rid of. Alright, Johnny, no worries. Well, I see two of them. Yeah, Charles, not this time. This time there wasn't a new one that popped up yet. Hopefully soon, though. Hopefully soon. I just finished uh, my lunch break, so we'll see. We'll see. And yes, I know it's pretty, uh, pretty late for most people to be eating lunch, but 
Uh, I don't eat breakfast until like 11 because I wake up at around 10 o'clock. So my schedule is just a little bit different. Got your first year IRL, big spike, downed him with the 450 Bushmaster. Nice rider, that's awesome. 450 is a cool caliber. I don't really hear too many people talk about it, but it's pretty cool. Same with like uh, 458 SOCOM. You don't hear too many people talking about it, but it's a pretty cool round. Hey Chase, welcome back, dude. Welcome back. Yeah, definitely, Ghost. Uh, I think, honestly, the big thing is I get the same amount of sleep as anybody else. Uh, it's just a different schedule because I tend to stay up late and edit. I get about the same amount of sleep as anybody else. I just go to sleep later and wake up later than normal. Can we do this without him glitching? I'm always so scared I'm gonna hit him. Or that he is gonna do that uh, teleporting glitch. That would be terrible. We almost had that happen yesterday for those of you that didn't see it. We had a deer that we were lining up on. And one of the great ones teleported directly in front of him. Right before I was about to pull the trigger. Luckily, I didn't shoot, so we didn't accidentally 300 a great one, but uh, it was very close. Very sketchy. Nice, easy, that's awesome. That sounds like a lot of fun. Nice, Rosie, nice. Oh, you're right, I should post that as a clip. Why, why didn't I think of that? That would totally be a great YouTube short. The, the great one teleporting right in front of my shot as I was about to pull the trigger. That actually, you're right. How come I didn't think of that? How many great ones are on the map? Currently four of them, Cody. Currently four. Am I going to be doing herd management for moose? Definitely diamonds. 100%. Especially for the moose, because I feel like it'll be the only way to uh, make the moose grind super consistent. Because uh, moose have a lot of zones where there's like very few males, so the less places I have to bounce between, the better. Because from my experience, moose are uh, they're pretty spread out. And I think it's got a lot of uh, single males as well. It's going to be an interesting grind. So I'll definitely be doing herd management to try and make it go smoother. Can I recall the wild 1 to 10? I'd say it's like a 9 out of 10. Only thing that holds it back from being a 10 is the fact that we still don't have non-typicals. Um, and there's still like a few map locations that we desperately need and uh, the weapon system isn't the most realistic in the world and has a lot of stuff that could be improved but other than that the game is phenomenal which is why it's a 9 out of 10 instead of a 10 out of 10 for me couple big males there how much longer is the stream um, a couple more hours. We'll be going for at least a couple. Can't see that other one. Got a diamond moose today. Nice, Lucas. That's awesome. Is Rancho good for Whitetail? Um, it's decent. It's not the best, I'd say. But it's not the worst either. It's kind of in the middle.
He stopped right as I shot. Luckily, he stopped again. This zone behind us has been very inconsistent. Maybe, Charles. I was talking to, uh... Talking to iBuy during one of his streams about that. That would be so cool if they did that. If they did, like, custom content creator chosen skins, that would be so cool. Like, not necessarily... Not necessarily a gun skin that shows, like, our logo or anything. I'm talking more of, like, we could choose, like, a camo pattern or something to put in the game. I think that would be really cool. Why don't I kill the great ones? We're stacking them, uh, Jayton. We're stacking them to see how many we can get. Uh, not sure, Brendan. Not sure. Oh, really, XJ? That's crazy. That's pretty lucky. Not gonna lie. Pretty lucky. Oh, yeah, that's understandable, Mason. Definitely understandable. Stacking the level 9 whitetail, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're stacking those level 9s. Stacking uh, any level 9 white tail we get to spawn. Nice, Big Buck, that's awesome. Uh, yes, she, that should be pretty rare. Albino red deer are indeed rare. Oh, you meant the threes? I kind of figured, but I was kind of just going along with it, you know. But uh, when it comes to like stacking the threes, the only reason we're stacking them again is because uh, we found a couple new zones. And so I'm trying to get them to turn to ones. Yes, level nine whitetails and uneven turkeys, the best of the best. Only the finest specimens here. We only have the finest uh, special mutated animals in the Hunter Call of the Wild. The uneven turkey is a uh, prized possession of many. And the level 9 whitetail. Oof. Everybody wishes they could see one of those. Hey, there's a big three. 275 upper estimate. What if... I mean, this might be wishful thinking, but what if... Piebald 275. I can't see what it is, so... Ah, uh, looks like a pretty normal buck. Yeah, not a rare. But that's a pretty big three. We'll leave him to try and drive up the estimates. Or not estimate, try to drive up the average score. Really need to try and get one of those new zones or one of either the new zone or the one zone in Balmont we've been trying to get to turn to ones. I, I gotta try and get one of them to go to ones. That way our uh, tent setups will be less spread out. Another one right there. So this run we got a lot of consistency going on. Bucks everywhere. Love to see it. Love to see it. All over the map, Rusty. All over the left side of Layton. There's quite a few spots we've been going to. Okay, those two we need to take. 
This guy is diamond potential, so we'll leave him. Do I like the M1? Yeah, the M1's pretty good. Very solid rifle. Oh no, Aiden, I'm sad to hear that, dude. That's unfortunate. At least it still looks the same in the lodge, right? That's the bright side to messing up a great one, is it's still gonna look the same in the lodge. And so, people will still know it's a great one, right? Do I like the 30 out 6? Yeah, it's pretty good. What about 308? 308 is my favorite rifle in the whole game. Love that thing. So good. Can't find any more zones even after deleting some. I keep on looking, Patrick. We just found a zone recently. In fact, this stream we found a zone that I didn't know I had. I've been through that area 10 plus times, probably even more. Never seen it before. So, there's definitely chances that you've just passed up some zones without realizing it. Um, if it's a rank lower, that means that you failed the harvest check, uh, Log Racer. It's so like, for example, if you use the wrong caliber on a trophy, then it will not give you the full metal rating. If you shoot it in the head, you won't get the full metal rating. Like, for example, I'm shooting Whitetail with the 300 right now, so... They're not gonna get the full score because the 300 is too big for them. Whenever you kill an animal, you wanna pass all of these checks. So you wanna use the proper ammo, you wanna shoot it two times or less. Not shoot the trophy organ, which for the... Um... Most species, it's typically the head. So you don't wanna shoot them in the head and then hit one vital organ or more. So that is uh, what you gotta do to get the full metal ra rating. Like for this, I shot it with the 300 Magnum, so instead of being silver, it made bronze. Yeah, no problem, Log. Glad to help. And I'm glad you enjoy the content. Nice, Sander, nice. 7 mm odd 8, yes, that would be so cool, easy. I would love to see a 7mm on 8. It would be such a cool addition to the game. Okay, we got a level 1 to spawn, but it's in the wrong zone. I don't need you here. Don't need this guy here. Wrong zone, buddy. What I want non-typicals in all species? Oh, 100% uh, Maxer. Non-typicals are some of my favorite things in the Hunter Classic. And in real life, like, I would love to get a non-typical buck. So if Call of the Wild added them, it'd be huge. Yeah, cultures, we're gonna have to stack again. We found a new zone, and it had three shootable bucks in it, so... Now I'm trying to make the new zone one of my main grinding zones, and to do that, I gotta shoot down one of my old zones to level ones. So we're trying to get this zone to turn to level 1 since it's kind of a brushy one. If I can turn this to level 1s, then that'll be great. And then I can dedicate that tent to uh, this lake as a pickup tent since we just found that zone. Uh, tomorrow, Landon. Tomorrow will be the next episode of the new account playthrough. I got a couple bucks there. Nothing crazy. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Wendigo. Get better soon, dude. Just stay hydrated, stay rested. You will recover in no time, I promise. Just make sure that you're well rested and well hydrated. Don't overwork yourself. And you should be okay.
Bolt action 7mm, we need that. Definitely cultures, definitely. Hey Kelly, how's it going? What other games do I play? I got a lot of different games that I play. Uh, Escape from Tarkov, Marauders, Ark Survival Evolved, Seven Days to Die. Um, I sometimes play The Angler. Your map's going off hard? Nice, KC. Glad, glad to hear it. We recently just found a zone that I've never seen before. This zone right here, I've never had. And we went through here today and boom, we have a zone here that I've apparently just missed for ages. And so we're trying to make this a main zone and we're trying to get rid of one of our other ones. All right. Nine diamonds now, six of them have 260 plus low estimates. Nice, dude. I, I told you things would work out. It It's just a matter of hitting that sweet spot, right? Just manage to get over that threshold. Sometimes that stacking can do weird things. I'm glad to see that's uh, bouncing back for you, though. Glad to see that it's starting to work out. Now, I, I, I do have a question. Are you stacking are you stacking the threes in your favorite zones? I hope I hope you're gonna do it that way this time. Because it, it really does make a massive difference. That level three can stay. Please tell me we've got all ones here. Nope. Oh gosh, there's another. Come on. Turn to ones. Never want to see this zone have a two again. What is that guy doing? Oh, another. Oh gosh. Oh, really? Come on. Turn to ones already. Got you, Casey. Yeah, I would probably refrain from shooting the threes until you've really got as much as you can to ones. E even if it gets painful waiting for it, I, I, I highly, highly recommend just making sure that you've gone through every zone on your map at least like 20 times after they become level ones and just really thoroughly shoot them down as much as you can. There we go. Do your drink zones get hunting pressure? Yeah, they do. I use uh, tripod stands, though, so it reduces it greatly. Um, most likely, Casey, I'll probably be streaming for like six or seven hours in total. There's Lucky. Uh, we need to reset in main menu. Do we know when the update is? Not as of now, Landon, but if I were to take a bet, I would guess early to mid-December. Probably one to two weeks from now. Hopefully. What happens when you reset? Resetting the time typically just gets animals back to their zones. And then a lot of times I go to the main menu as well in case some were in like kind of a spooked state. That way it'll take them out of the spooked state. And sometimes you can just like spam time resets and main menus to force deer to get back to their zone. I do that quite a bit as well. Like you just saw this zone had nothing in it. So I did an extra time reset and they popped back in. Come on, Lucky, give us the rares. We need them. What's the max amount of hunting pressure you're gonna have in a zone before it disappears? Uh, if you're not using stands, you can kill three deer and then the fourth one will delete the zone. There's our big three.
Yeah, lucky. He's very lucky for sure. He's got to live for a very long time. Lucky truly is lucky. Um, KC, if you're still in the chat, at some point would you, uh, would you be down to hop in and grind alongside me and we can just chat about grinding like we did that one night? That was quite a bit of fun. I enjoyed that a good bit, so if you want to do it again, let me know. Yeah, we got two over there. Ah! <laughs> of course I needed to reload. Ooh! Hello there. Yeah, Lucky gets to live. Lucky gets to live all the time. Will I kill Lucky when I kill the Great Ones? I don't know, actually. I don't think so. I think we gotta let Lucky live on for as long as possible. Lots of 230s, Bucks. Oh, and I forgot to shoot. Okay. R.I.P. I forgot to look over there and shoot those, so I guess I guess they get to live for another run. Hey, Brayden, how's it going? I uh, know, Zeb, I don't let anybody on my map because I don't know what they're going to do if they get on there, right? So I, I don't allow anybody else on my map. Should I leave the big mythical red deer also or just the legendaries? Only the legendaries that can make diamonds. So if you get like a, a guaranteed troll level 9, I would honestly recommend killing that as well. That's the diamond rack, so... Th <laughs> that scared me. Oh my gosh, guys. You probably couldn't hear that, but... uh. My wife uh, opened the door and uh, our daughter just like pushed the door open and it just slammed into the wall. <laughs> oh my gosh. That scared me. <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh, who's bursting in here? <laughs> of course it was little Aaliyah. <laughs> that scared me. Yes, Brober would steal everything if I let him on my map. <laughs> Everything would be gone. To be honest though, I don't think Brober cares about Great Ones, so he might not shoot them. You never know. Who is Lucky? Lucky is a pet piebald we have on our map. Do I have any female diamonds of any animal? Uh, yeah, I've got a quail female diamond. And a few Gemsbok. Can't think of any others off the top of my head, but I'm sure I've probably got some others. Oh yeah, a couple of the rabbit species. Level 3, Sam. They, they shouldn't be level 3 diamonds. 
Uh, for Gemsbok, it should only be the level fours that can make it. For the females, should only be fours and fives that make it. Nothing there. Oh, you did mean level four. Gotcha. Yeah. Uh, no, I've never been bear hunting. Never been bear hunting IRL. Just been deer hunting and elk hunting. Never got anything though. And then I grew up on like a, uh, a chicken farm, so... We would always get um, occasional like rat problems because, you know, obviously you got a lot of uh, feed for the chickens. Bound to be some rats that decide that they want the feed too. And so we used to, uh, we used to blast rats as kids. That was always pretty fun. That was always enjoyable. Because not only was it fun, but we were helping out the chickens too. You know, I'm wondering if for, uh, for this phase where we are shooting down some of these zones to level ones, should I maybe avoid that zone that we just hunted? Because it's kind of hard to tell which level ones were there before and which ones weren't. I've got it in a really good place. I don't know if I want to risk it kind of screwing up. Gosh, this zone is consistently getting the big males. And I'll wait till we can get a tent down there so I, actually, I can actually claim those. It's gonna be nice. I bet, Patrick. I bet, man. Uh, no, Dylan. You wouldn't want to delete your unwanted zones. Instead of deleting them, the, the way to go is to try and fill them with level 1s. That way you never have to go there again. You're not going to get anything to respawn in there. But uh, whenever you delete a zone, you never know what could end up there. Because the zone will always appear somewhere else. So uh, trying to delete zones isn't a good idea. That looks big. Oh uh, gosh, there's a couple big males here. That's not what I wanted in this zone. This is the zone we're trying to turn... Ah, this is the zone we're trying to turn into level 1s. And of course it's the one where some 3s pop up. Come on. <laughs> he just loves to stay behind the others. Um, we're stacking the diamonds for this exact reason, Yeast. We found a new zone and we're trying to make it our new uh one of our new grinding zones and shoot down one of the others. Yeah, I think so too, Dustin. Duxton, this has been a stubborn zone from the get-go. I've tried to get rid of it like three different times. Never works, but I'm hoping we can this time. 242 to level three, by the way. I'm not gonna tax it though, because I've got one I got a level three that scored 239, I believe, or 238. <laughs> Disgusting. Disgusting troll. Such an ugly troll deer. My gosh. Um, I started doing content like full time a couple years ago, Lane, like a little bit over two and a half years ago. I had done streaming off and on though throughout the years. Not a ton though. 
What classifies as a troll? So a troll is a max level animal that doesn't make diamonds. So most of the time, if you have a max level animal, it'll probably make diamond, but occasionally they won't and there'll be a gold instead. So we call those trolls. That could be very interesting, Corey. I've never thought of that before, but that, that could actually be a pretty interesting video. I could definitely see that being an interesting video like I played off-brand mobile hunting games and this is what happened they were terrible <laughs> or something like that <laughs> nice jet that's awesome congrats congrats on that beast Hey, Clay, how's it going? Hope you're doing good. Uh, Clay, I got a question for you. Um, I know that you mod for a few creators like Lady Legend and people like that. Um, Recently, a lot of my moderators have not been able to make the streams. Would you be interested in in helping out a little bit? Obviously, you don't have to be here all the time. Nothing's required with it, but starting to get to a point where I might need a couple more people. And I know for a fact that you have uh, modded for Lady Legend and a few other people before, so curious if you'd be willing to do it. That's a new one. Don't want him there. Okay, thank you, Clay Drew. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Because you've been in the community for ages. I know for a fact that you've modded for other people, so I know I can trust you. So there you go. I'll uh, give you the role in Discord as well. Okay, no more bucks over there. Also, we got a new three here, so that's good. We got a new level three. What would you say for beginners for help? I would probably recommend checking out the uh, brand new account playthrough that I started recently on the channel. I've got the first episode of it up. Episode two is coming out tomorrow. It should help you out quite a bit. I talk about a lot of tips for when you're first starting and stuff like that. So it should be a, a very helpful series to watch. Yeah, I think you should be able to, Caitlin, because you're a moderator. Or you're an admin in the Discord, so you should be able to. I can't chill, Mason. The grind never stops. The grind never stops. Starting to adapt to your duck aim. <laughs> hey, there's lots of it. Lots of duck aim. Solari, thank you so much for becoming a member. Really appreciate it. Enjoy the green name and chat, special badge icon, all the awesome emotes, and all the other cool perks that come with being a member. Really appreciate it. Be sure to uh, also join the Discord and link your YouTube to it so that you can get all of the channels that are for the members. I'm doing good, JD. I'm doing good. Having a fun day of grinding. 
We're kind of restacking some level threes because we found a new zone. And I need to turn one of them into level one. So we're trying to figure out what we need to what we need to do to get that to happen. Um, I already told you, Landon, I said I would recommend checking out the guide video that I made a couple days ago on the channel. Two days ago, I posted a video on a new account playthrough, and I talk about a ton of tips and tricks for beginners in it, as well as some more advanced tricks, so recommend checking it out. That should help you quite a bit if you're new to the game. Because I explain a lot of the basics in that video, as well as, uh, Doing some hunting, talking about like the perks I get as I go and stuff like that. And that series is going to be continuing on for quite a while, so... Definitely uh, one to watch if you're new to the game and want to learn more about it. And it should be a fun series for everybody that's been playing the game for a while as well. What is the gun I'm using? This is the 300 Magnum. Can you shoot one of the great ones? We're not going to shoot any of the great ones today, Brayden. We're trying to get five on the map at once. Once we get number five, we will shoot all five of them at once. Because uh, we got to be getting close to the next update. I feel like we have to be close. We're at the end of November at this point, so... It shouldn't be too much longer till we're able to uh, play the new map, I would imagine. I couldn't see, see it being longer than two weeks. Like, it's got to happen before two weeks. How to unlock the 300. The 300 Magnum comes with Yukon Valley. So essentially, you buy Yukon Valley and uh, you will get access to purchase the 300 Magnum as well. For in-game cash, of course. Glad you enjoyed, Squid. Glad you enjoyed. Uh, yeah, Roblox, the biggest tip I can give. First of all, do research on YouTube. I did a ton of it when I first started out. Um, one of the best things that you can do to learn how to grow a channel is just search up how to grow a channel in 2022 on a uh, YouTube and it'll bring up a ton of helpful information the other thing that I always recommend is report on the news anytime that uh, a new update comes out for call of the wild or new information is discovered about something in the game be the first to report on it and that will immediately net you a few viewers and if your content is good enough then maybe they'll stick around as well Have I hunted Red Fox? I have hunted Red Fox. Not one of my favorite things to hunt, but they're a cool species still. Alright, for those that haven't seen it, this is the new zone. We found this zone today and it has three shootable deer, so... We gotta get it into the, uh... Into our, um, what's it called? Into our rotation. Um... You also have this problem where the character runs too slow and when you aim with a gun it goes faster. I have never had that problem, no. That that doesn't sound normal. That that sounds like a very odd issue. New zone, new great one? Maybe. Maybe. We'll see. Uh, my my that's kind of what I've been saying. Like, I'll bet the next one's gonna show up right here. Just because uh just because we just found it, right? Like, of course it would. Alright, so three shootables again. So essentially, we're trying to... Hopefully make this one of our main zones, but to be honest, if it turns into ones, I'll probably just leave it. But I'd like to get this zone to turn into ones because it's such a brushy area. And it really just sucks to hunt. Oh, 
Holy. Thinking about moving the tent from this zone since we're not wanting to hunt it anymore. Starting to think in, uh, starting to think that I need to make this new zone have a second tent for claiming those three because I'd rather claim those three than claim the one that's at this other zone. Please tell me they're all ones. So we normally have three ones here. Ah, it's a two. Once again, a two. Now, if we see a fourth level one, that is progress at least. One, two, three. Looks like it's just three still. Gosh, when will we ever get this zone to change into ones? That's a decent two. Need to boop him. Oh, I'm used to JD. I don't really watch sports anymore. My first time it was a red deer, Castrol. Um, I used to do realistic hunts quite a bit, uh, Xbox. Unfortunately, unfortunately, nobody really watched them, so I stopped doing the series. Because as a creator, I gotta dedicate my time to the content that you guys want to watch, and unfortunately, realistic hunting never really did well. Oh, we need to actually go ahead and reset the time. Because we are at the beginning of the run again. Um, I, I'd say put as much effort into it as you are wanting to, Roblox. Like, I, I've always put quite a bit of effort into my videos, and I'm always looking for more ways I can improve them. The way I see it is, as long as you're always looking for ways to improve your content, then... Naturally, it's going to get better the more you post and it'll get better over time and that'll attract more people to watch. When I first started YouTube, it was nothing like it is now. But because I was always looking for ways to improve, the content got better over the years. How do you get your zones to all ones? Uh, just by never shooting level ones. Never shoot the level ones, shoot the twos. Um, you can shoot the threes as well, but you can also leave the level threes alive, like we are, to try and make those level ones spawn quicker. Just got a diamond whitetail that scored 264. Does the update reset the whitetail? No, it will not be resetting the whitetail. So uh, ev everything with the whitetail should be fine. Compared to a year ago, Ghost? Oh, man, that quite a lot. Quite a lot, actually. Um, I, I can't remember exactly where we were at a year ago in terms of like average viewer counts, but I think it was more like around 100, maybe 150. Maybe less on some days as well. Uh, things have come very far on the channel since then. It's honestly insane. I, sometimes I go back and watch some of the old stuff that I've posted. Just to see like how different things are now. And things have changed a lot over the years. It's crazy. I swear I saw another buck here. Maybe not, but I, f I feel like I saw a different rack. Huh. How many zones should you keep ones in? Quite a few, Sam. I think I'm only using 15 of my 68 zones, so... I've turned over 50 of them into level ones. And then there'll be an occasional, like, 
level two randomly strung throughout those zones, but for the most part, they're all level ones now. Um, eventually you do get to a point where the ones will stop spawning, Tuxedo. It's just about, uh, hitting the limits of herd management to where it can't really spawn any more of them. I don't know the exact uh, numbers you have to hit for Whitetail, but for Red Deer, okay, we don't want to level one there. For Red Deer, I was able to get it down to 20 shootables and then have the rest four and below. Whitetail would definitely be a bit different though. Um, herd management for Moose is just leaving the twos and ones. Kill threes and above. Whoa! There was a fourth buck here? Huh? Okay. Crazy. I did not realize that. I didn't know we had a fourth one over here. That other one ran quite a ways though, so we're not gonna grab him. Herd management for elk? Uh, leave the twos and leave the ones. Kill threes and above. Beautiful. Uh, yeah, I know who he is, uh, Ragged. I've done one video with him in the past. I haven't really talked to him in a while, but we did used to do a video. We did a video once, uh, we... hang out in each other's streams whenever we get a chance to. Hey, Brober, how's it going? Hey, Brober, we got a new member of the, uh, of the moderators here. We got, we got a new member to the mod squad. Wonder if you can guess who it is. Hey, there we go. Three in that zone. Perfect. Okay, awesome. So there's nothing here to shoot now. Probably we'll get another one next run, though. Is it clear? <laughs> yeah, yep, exactly, Brober. <laughs> how, how could you have possibly guessed, Brober? Gosh. <laughs> nice, Rugby. Hope it's going well for you. I know, right, Brober? <laughs> that was my thoughts, too. I was like, oh, well. Now he knows. <laughs> Isaac, thank you for the super chat. Really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Hope you're doing great. Hello. Oh, you are a nice male. Very big male. I tell you what. You, sir, will do very nicely for our purposes right here. I think we've got some extra ones here. Yeah, we definitely do. Let's kill that one. Just to get one more shootable in this zone and try to get the one to go to somewhere else. How do you super chat on PC? It should be the little like, uh, it should be the little icon next to the emojis down at the, the bottom of the chat. Should be that one. If I am not mistaken. Uh, we're not shooting the threes right now because we're trying to stack them so that we can force more level ones. We found a new zone and we gotta try and get um, one of our old zones to turn to one so that we can move this one into our grind. Because this new zone right here, it, it seems to be very consistent. They're always coming back to the zone, so I want to get this one into our grind. So we're trying to turn a different zone into level ones. That way we can use this one.
Yeah, I think this next run we're gonna grab the tent from right here. We're gonna grab this tent and then move it up to this zone that we're hunting now. Nice, Clager. Nice, nice. Now, one thing I gotta stress, and I can't stress this enough. Make sure you come back and check that zone often. Because, uh... I had many times early in the grind where I thought a zone was all ones, and then out of nowhere. A few more, uh... Level 2's showed up randomly in it. Okay, that's a 2. That's a squishy 2. We keep getting 2's back in this zone. I don't want the 2's to be here. Gosh, can we please get it to be all 1's? Is that too much to ask, Call of the Wild? I just want this zone to be level 1's. Please. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Bob, I do, but it's all, uh, does and level ones for me at this point. Can't dismantle. What is in my inventory? Oh, the tree stand. Of course. Yeah, definitely, Gladria. It, it'll make things, uh... It'll, it'll save you from a lot of frustration if you check that often. Um, most of the time, whenever I would turn a zone to level 1s, I kept checking it for like another 10 to 15 runs just to make sure. Because uh, even now, I had a few zones that only got respawns. They only got new bucks like once every 10 to 15 runs. It's weird, but there's like some deer that just bounce between places. I've been calling them uh, bouncer bucks because that's what uh, that's why I heard I buy call them. It's essentially just deer that change zones every single run. Whitetail seem to do that a lot. What is the best map and gun for a great one grind? Well, it depends on which great one you're trying to get. Are you after the white tail, the red deer, or the black bear? I don't heat, but I plan to get some soon. Um, I just don't know like what brand to go for. And so I want to like find the right brand for me first, but I, I do plan to get some because they they supposedly do help quite a bit with uh, headaches and stuff like that. However, I do use a blue light filter on my monitor. I do have a uh, program called Flux. That is uh, really great. You essentially can just like uh, reduce blue light on your monitor. And my monitor also has built in like uh, blue light reduction. So to be honest, I don't know if I'm going to need the, the blue light glasses. I, I don't know if it's different or if it's the same as the filters on the monitor, but I've just been doing that and it's worked out pretty good. Um, I don't know uh, my quotes. I don't hunt Hirschfelden, so I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, that's lucky, Zeb. That's our piebald lucky. What the? <laughs> Dropping out of the sky, huh? Okay, that one we need to take. I uh, no, Ma Maxim. I don't really, uh, I don't really like using face cam. Not my thing. Don't see any bucks there. Hey, Ballistic, how's it going? Yeah, we're stacking our great ones. 
We've been stacking great ones for a couple weeks now. Just trying to see how many we can get on the map at once. Where's that level three that was here? Or actually, it's not a three, but it's a time and potential two. He's hiding once again. No, I, I totally believe that faded. I mean, I just found my 69th zone tonight, so... 100% possible. Uh, tomorrow, Ballistic. We're gonna be posting another one tomorrow. Am I stacking the rares too? Uh, no. Just, just one or two rares, right? I had two initial spawn doe rares and I've left those, um, there was a level one buck that was a piebald, I've left him because he's a level one, and then, uh, the other one that we're leaving on the map is, um, it's like a pet piebald, we named it Lucky because it spawned right before double great ones spawned in one day. We got Lucky to spawn, and then later in the stream we got a great one to spawn. And then the very final run of the day, we got another great one to spawn, but we didn't see it until the next stream. And so Lucky, Lucky has earned a permanent place on our map. He gets to live forever because he spawned two great ones that day. Or, well obviously he didn't, but he brought the luck. We got two in one day, so he gets to stay. Two in one day, so he gets to stay. That's a rhyme. Um, I have a 3060 Ti uh, Maxim. Hey, another three. Amazing. Okay. This stacking is going so fast. My gosh. The stacking is going so quick right now. This is one of the beautiful things about later in the grind when you find like a new zone that you need to shoot down to ones. Like it's very easy to get the stacking going again. Like, the further you are in herd management, the easier it is to restack if you need to. Oh, we're trying to stack them, Carson, because we're attempting to get a uh, zone to go to all level 1s. So, we're loading up all of the, L uh, the other zones with level 3s to kind of drive up the average score estimate. So that we can hopefully shoot this one zone down to level 1s. Because it's been a zone that I've just never liked hunting because it's super brushy. And so we're trying to make it so I never have to hunt it again. Let's main menu so hopefully the other herd will pop up. I need to see if there's a new buck there. Yeah, Carson. We're doing a herd management grind which is essentially... Stacking your map so loaded with level ones that the map kind of freaks out and decides oh gosh I need to I need to make up for all the low scoring deer on the map And so then it starts spawning stuff like diamonds a lot more often And so uh We're super deep into the grind at this point over 8,000 kills and We just discovered a brand new zone that we've never seen before and it's got three level twos that are good And so I'm gonna start using that zone for my grind instead. And then we're going to try and turn one of my normal zones that I've been using into level 1 so that I don't have to go there anymore. That's a good looking 3. Wait, that was that was there already, right? Yeah. I believe that guy was there last run. Ah oh, man, these are turning into 1s though. You see, I hate it when one zone has two herds because then it's difficult to tell how many bucks and does are in each herd and which ones I can shoot without messing things up. Like, I'm not going to shoot any of these because I don't know which of those level ones are from each herd. Yeah, we've currently got four great ones on the map, uh, Ragged. We've been stacking them for about two weeks. Seeing if we can get five on the map at once, so we've just continued to uh, stack any that we've had spawn. Yeah, that's just two. Oh gosh, I'm falling. I'm falling, I can't get up. Help. Oh gosh. What's happening? There we go. 
Nice, Carson. Welcome to the channel, man. Welcome to the channel. Uh, yeah, Maxim, we will. We will be killing off all of them once we get a fifth one to spawn or whenever we get an announcement of the release date of the new map. Um, we're gonna kill everything a couple days before the new map releases. That way we don't risk any, like, bugs happening with the update. But, uh, if we get a fifth one to spawn before then, then we'll kill it the second the fifth one spawns. So it's either two days before the new update or whenever number five spawns. Um, I've been using it for, let's see, at least three weeks. Let me go back to the first video I posted on it. Okay, so yeah, about four weeks. Almost a month. I've been herd managing Whitetail for almost a month, every single day. What if number five spawns two days before the update? Perfect then. That'd be great. Um, I don't remember, goat. I don't remember. Uh, no, it's not, Sam. It's not being reset. I just don't want to take any risks because we've had bugs arise in the past with updates. And the last thing that I would want is some unexpected bug, like deleting a great one off my map or something. So that's the only reason we're going to shoot them before the update is because I, I just don't trust, uh, just don't trust the, the bugs in the game. That would be really cool if we could, Flipmaster. I'd like to, but it's not the main goal because it's pretty unlikely it will ever happen. But I definitely would not be opposed to uh, getting a uh, rare fur type great one. That'd be pretty sick. I mean, it's close enough, Rusty. It's close enough to Christmas. We're almost there. Again, it's not a level one. Man, unfortunate. This zone is being stubborn. It's been like this ever since we got it. I've tried turning it to ones a couple times and it's always a troublesome zone. Always a very troublesome zone. All right, later Carson, thanks for dropping by. When is the update? We're not 100% sure yet, RC. Most likely mid-December, possibly earlier. Not sure as of now. The second I know anything, though, you guys will know as well. Uh, yes, it is possible to get a rare fur type on the Great One, but only with Whitetail. Uh, Red Deer do not have a rare fur type Great One. Neither does the Black Bear. It's, uh, unfortunately just the Whitetail. Uh, yeah, Hiram, there is some semi-automatic weapons in the game. The 308 is semi-automatic, so is the 223 AR, as well as the... Uh, pretty much all the 22s in the game. What is my dream Whitetail Great One? I really want to get the typical rack. It is the second smallest rack for the Great One Whitetail, but it's like the most difficult one to get. I rarely see anybody get it. And it's my favorite. It looks really good. It looks more like, uh, it looks more in line with the type of non-typical deer that you would actually find, like, hunting public land. Like, a lot of the Great One Whitetail, they look very much like, uh, farm deer, right? They look a little bit excessive for, like, a wild buck. Most of them look more in line with stuff you'd see off of a game ranch. However, there is some... There's a couple Great One racks that actually do look pretty realistic for, like, a giant non-typical you could find while you're just out hunting 
And uh, the one that we're after, the typical rack, it looks like that. It looks kind of like one of the diamonds, but it's got more tines. And it also has like a couple little stickers and flyers flipping off different directions. Nice, William. That's awesome. Uh, no, red deer are just one uh, fur type for the great one. I wonder what anybody's first thought is uh, whenever they join the stream when I'm stacking diamonds and great ones at the same time. I bet their first thought is, oh my gosh, I joined a cheater stream. Oh my gosh. And I don't blame them. Definitely looks like that when you're stacking. I've always wondered that though. Oh, really, Caitlin? I I didn't I didn't know that. I will uh, definitely do that then. I had assumed that since he didn't reply earlier that he wasn't uh, going to be going live today or tonight. But yeah, I can I can hop in a call and chat with him while we grind. Uh, just tell him that I'll be in my Discord. Got a two there. That one we need to take down. Uh, what is the music that's playing in the background? Let me find it. This is... I, I, I don't know any Spanish, so that I'm probably going to absolutely butcher this name. It's La Vuelta a Larida, Larida, and it's by Ven Vendla. Vendla spelled V-E-N-D-L-A. Yeah, it's a, it's a very chill, relaxed song. Yeah, tomorrow is the EW stream. I'm excited for that. It should be uh, 9 a.m. if I'm not mistaken, right? I believe it's 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time for their streams. If I'm not mistaken, I believe that is it. Yeah, EW, uh, Hiram, that's the company that created uh, Call of the Wild. It's Expansive Worlds. EW is just a shortened version of it, you know? Uh, yeah, Squid, it would be on YouTube. No, oh, no, I just saw a comment from Brobra pop up in my notifications. What could it possibly be? <laughs> I hope we will, Pony. I got a feeling we will. Like, uh, they gotta be close to giving us a set date for it. They gotta be close. I'd be surprised if we didn't get a release date tomorrow. Any word on, uh, any word on when KC is going to jump into a uh, chat, Caitlin? I know that you're in his stream as well, so I don't know if he's uh, said when he's hopping in, but, um, I'm just going to be chilling in here till he's ready. Oh, it was Brober defending me from somebody that was uh, accusing me of modding. Look at Brobra, an absolute legend. I tell you, Brobra brings like the most fantastic points that I couldn't even think of. Somebody accused me of modding, right? And... Bro 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 Bro's, Bro Bro's reply was for anyone reading this and wondering if this dude might be right the game developers literally chose Scarecrow as the first creator in their new video series and spotlighted herd management techniques so <laughs> Bro, Bro responds better than I could have I mean that shouldn't even matter though 
How's it going? Are you, wait, wait, do you hear me? Okay. <laughs> yeah, I do. I was like just that, finishing what I was like already saying. Great, that is a great point to make. Like, if anyone's going to suspect a cheater, it's going to be the developers of the game. Exactly. That is a very good point. <laughs> but also, even beyond that, anybody that's doing this live and doing it live to the extent that, like, you are, they're, those, those people aren't cheating. You cheat behind closed curtains, man. You don't... You don't cheat live for hours a day. Yeah. Get away with it. That doesn't happen. So exactly. I mean, it's, it's so dumb. Exactly. That's nobody why I started. Nobody, uh, that's why I started being live, live so much. That's exactly anyway. why I started doing longer streams. Is just like okay, still a few people who doubt. Let's just stream every single second of my grind. Yeah, might as well. You might as well. I mean, dude, like if, yeah, I mean, yeah, if I grind as much as you, I'm just. I mean, it is, it takes more energy to do it live. Oh, but. definitely. I have to take a 20 to 30 minute break in the middle, but it's still, but I think it's, it's worth it. I've been enjoying it a lot. But you're, you're 24, so it's fine. True, true, true. That, that probably does help. But dude, my map is rapidly changing. <laughs> like, like this morning when I started grinding, my map was a mess. It oh, I know. Diamonds. I remember you, you were getting pretty <laughs> discouraged two, with it. it two diamonds on it. And all of a sudden, somehow today, like I streamed for a few hours, and then after the stream, I, I did a couple more runs, and I made up a map on Photoshop, like a new one. Yeah. And the, the map is completely overhauled. Like it's, dude, the diamonds that are on the map that I've got, I've got a 270 low estimate. I've got three Oof. diamonds that, that have a 260 Ooh. or 260. Oh, no. Uh, oh, no. Melanistic. <laughs> what? It's a 217. <laughs> It's estimated, estimate? or actually, no, it might be more. It's 217 to 258, but it's not a 258, so it's either middle of the estimate or lowest estimate. That's awesome. Oh, oh yeah, it's going to hit middle. That's a 220s or 230s rack. Regardless, that's my biggest melanistic ever. <laughs> nice. Oh, my gosh. Man, I haven't gotten a rare since, like, the first 300 kills. I had all those rares in the beginning, and then now there's no more rares. To be fair, though, you got a ton of rares at the I beginning. I got a ton? Like, way too many. Yeah, there was just rares popping up everywhere, There's man. You were getting three. so many. And then here's another three with a low estimate of 255. Like, these threes that are on the map right now are massive. I think that's a sign that you're getting much further into the herd management than when you first stacked that first batch of them. I think so. Because now it's all the big ones that are showing up. They're all Th That's kind of how it was for me, too. Um... Before I killed that uh that big rack that was on the map, I was barely getting any threes, and the ones that I was getting were all small rack, and half of them trolled. Once I killed him, all the level threes are huge again. Yeah. Whew. So you must have just got enough more, like enough ones on the map now that it's kicking up those big males now. I guess. Yeah. Wow, dude, this oh this is a gorgeous Mela. Oh my That's gosh, cool. this thing is beautiful. Mouse. Me too. It's my favorite rare Which white tail. Well, like what type of rack is oh, it? It's uh it's 231.39 on the score. That's a big mela. It's kind of uh it's kind of the you know that rack that looks squished forward with the back tines kind of? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's that. that rack, but it's not as squished looking as normal. That's cool. Yeah, this is a good one. This is my so, best mela easily. Too bad I can't so get hey, a so super rare like Bree. I know. I don't know. How, that's. I'm insane. so jealous of that thing. So the two. So I've got a. I've got a level three here on the map. That's a. That's two seventy to three eleven, and it's. But it's like the basket rack, and I didn't think they could score that high. Oh my gosh! It is. Oh, that's what I've yeah. been grinding for for diamonds. I want one of those so bad. I didn't. They, think they rarely. Could score that high. They rarely make two seventy. It's so incredibly rare. You are so lucky. <laughs> <laughs> I've been wanting I one of those. Find it when I. I can't because I can't remember exactly which one it is, but I've got them all marked. When I find it, you can take a look. I don't know if it's because of the width or what the heck, but it definitely is. Usually with that rack, it's the uh, tip to tip. AI by how's it going, oh. man? Yeah, that's a gorgeous Mela. Best one I've ever seen. I've had bad is luck it, with Melanistics. Did it score? Is it two sixteen? Uh, it was two two thirty one. Two thirty one. Oh, that's a beautiful yeah, Mela. beautiful Mela. Best one beautiful. I've had. I got so focused on that zone, it hit 12, and I didn't realize it. There's got to be a great one close to spawning, dude. 
I'm I mean, you're starting to stack up those diamonds quick, so would not be surprised if your great one happens soon. Come on, please be all level ones in this spot. Right now, I'm trying to shoot down this one zone to level ones because I got a new zone on the map that's all level twos. And it's a very consistent zone so far, so I'm trying to get this really brushy zone in my normal rotation to turn to ones, but it's being so stubborn. I keep getting threes here instead of ones. Yep, cool two again. Money. It's a small two, though. Okay, hunted that, hunted that. Okay, not hunting those two, not hunting those two. My, my Photoshop map is confusing the crap out of me. Okay, oh, right. yeah. <laughs> so many, like, different colors and stuff. Um, Garrett, sorry, guys. Not ignoring you guys. I'm, I'm, I'm looking at the chat. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the stream. Jack, good to see you. Jennifer, Brady, everybody. Darkness, hey, man. Yeah, I promise I'm Should not be... ignoring you guys either. We're just, we're just chatting amongst each other now. Yeah. Hey. Oh, Wait, I forgot one there. Three. Oh, yeah. Guaranteed Troll 3. That's one of them. How's the grind been going, I buy You got any new great ones today? I don't know if you went live Ooh. or not today, but uh, if you did, hope the big males are pouring in. Do I like the Argus or the Hyperion more? Um, recently I've been going with the Argus. It used to be that I would only use the Hyperion, but, uh, been really enjoying the Argus for this particular grind. Oh, you did, Iba? You got another one? Nice. Stack the big rack. Uh, wait, shot the big rack, stacked another back on the map shortly after. That's insane, dude. That's insane. So how many that kills roughly? In between great ones right now for 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 i buy yeah what's the what's the average been if you were to take a guess i know you don't really keep track of like kill count per grind but if you were to take a guess what's it looking like because for me it's been it's a been kind of it's been all over the place recently for me it's been like 700 then like 80 and then 700 again and then 1350 200 to 250 oh my gosh that's insanity Dude. Dude, that's insane. Oh. That is crazy. Herd management. Herd management is so OP. It is. It's, it's so crazy OP. good. It's absolutely ridiculous. Ibai's got that that run down to literally the max I've ever seen it go, though. Like more than yours? You're only hunting like three, what, three lakes or some, something like that? Oh. Yeah, but I still I still have twos in other places that I don't go to. So like I, uh, I got twos in the other place. Think of it this way: I've got probably about seventy percent of my map, like I normally shoot for, as a uh, level ones. I'd say Ibai's got to be at least eighty percent or more level ones. It's pretty insane. Yeah, that's I'm dude. That's like where I would want to get my map to because I don't trust shooting the threes now. Like I don't trust it at all. I want to get to the point where like it's almost all ones, just ones and threes essentially. I'm pretty sure that's what he did. 25 to 30 level threes and the rest were ones. Yeah, like I want to have it to play where there's like almost almost no twos at all before I shoot the threes. Oh, you yeah, just watched the ammo Thanks. count now? Gotcha. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I guess that's a good indication of how What's many you've ammo? killed is the amount of ammo you've used. If you got perfect accuracy, yeah. Oh, also, this is the uh, this is a new one we got on the map yesterday. Look at the insane width on this uh, cluster rack. This dude's got insane width. Might be the widest one I've had. From there. Very interested what he's going to score. Also, we got a couple zones that are being stubborn this run. RRCW, welcome. Hey, everybody. See you later, Lola. Oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot you did have that big rack great one as well Trying to, when you were shooting down the rest of them. So you had a major boost to shooting down all those ones. Legend, what's up, dude? Good to see you. 
Deerhound, what's up? Hey, Taylor. Macy, what's up? How's it going, everybody? It looks like we have a couple we can take down here. A couple? Oh, that's sad. <laughs> just take the just take the guy. <laughs> oh, of take course. The, wow, how could I? Guy. How could I not know that? You know how? How could I be so silly? Be a gentleman about it. I'm on the left side of the map, uh, Christian. We're at Runaki Lake currently. The deer are being very stubborn at this lake, though. Normally, I don't have to go through this much effort just to get them at their zones. I, I'm thinking that adding that new zone into the rotation probably is going to throw things off a little bit as I try to get adjusted to it. Mason has been asking where the hidden lakes are, and I've been answering. I think there's only the one, right? Above Runaki? Right here. Yeah, it's just that one. As far okay. as I know. I mean, there's tiny little specks of water throughout the map that yeah. I guess could would have animals. I know in the past, Whitetail could drink it like tiny little specks on the map, but yeah, I don't think can. they can. Oh, they still can? Ooh. I think so. I think. Well, no, yeah, I think they can. But as far as I like an seen actual hidden recently. lake, as far as like an actual hidden lake, like those are just little spots around the, the lakes uh, or the rivers, right? That you're talking about? Um, no, there's a couple oh. spots that are even less noticeable. Um, oh, like okay. for example, if you look at Belmont Swamp, and then you see like the uh the Rebuilt stand that's right above it. If you zoom in, there's two specks of water. Those count as like lakes. And I, I've had Whitetail drink there on one of the old grinds from like a year and a half or two years ago. Oh, yeah. Yeah, one of these tiny little dots, I've had them there before. I don't this time oh, around, really? but I used to. Huh. Like that little speck up north of Belmont Lake? Yeah, like those uh, minuscule, microscopic little specks. The, I haven't checked those. Yeah, hopefully not. Yeah, I don't <laughs> think they can be there anymore, but they used to be able to. As okay, far we're as gonna like have to main menu. As far as far as like a hidden lake, yeah, just north of Runaki, I think is the only real actual lake. But it's really good for whitetail, so you definitely want to check it. Yeah, that's if one of the that's one of the first ones I got to turn to ones and does. If you're crazy enough to be grinding whitetail on Layton, definitely check there. <laughs> I love the latent grind. I've enjoyed it. I think you have to be at least slightly masochistic, but yeah, Rev on Tuli is definitely nice the too. easy, the easy way to go. Ooh, that dude. Okay, I've got a level two here that just spawned here, two fourteen to two fifty five, but it's got a. Uh, it's a troll, but I think it's two fifty plus. I don't know if I should stack those. It, since you're consistently getting the bigger ones now, I wouldn't. I'd just kill it. Okay. Yeah, that's Because you're, you're very consistently getting big diamonds. So, I'd probably only stack the uh, larger ones. Because, I mean, the more, of the, you, the more of the big ones you can get, the higher the average score will be. So, it should sure. make it easier to get everything else shot down. True, true, true. True, true, true. Hmm. Choo, Got choo, some choo. stubborn deer at this zone now. Keep coming back smaller than I want them to. Oh, he's turning. He's zigging and zagging. We don't approve. Doing that zig and zag maneuver. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, quickness. They did rework all waterfowl. All waterfowl are going to be different than what they were previously. Waterfowl used to be super easy. Now they're a bit more in line with their like real life counterparts, except for they don't land nearly as quick as they should in a lot of cases. So that's definitely something they'll have to iron out in the future. There we go. Oh, definitely Lucas. Seven mils, a fantastic non DLC rifle. It's, it's like really good. One. It's yeah, super but if you uh, when you're, yeah, like if you don't have DLCs up. though, like it's great, dude. Even in like my early content, dude, like my first like probably fifty videos, I was shooting everything with a seven millimeter. I was such a noob. Yeah, <laughs> dude, it's so funny to go back and watch like my old stuff. Whoa! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! I got a great one, Crow. Great one. Oh my gosh! Really? Yeah. Nice. Which one is it? I don't know. I just saw the 10 fabled. 
Oh my gosh, I gotta I gotta pull up your stream. Oh, Alright everybody, no let's way. hop let's hop over to Kill Clinton's stream. He just got a great one to spawn. Finally. Let's take a look at which one he got. I'm gonna pop it up on my phone. If you guys wanna hop over there, feel free to. This is huge. I told you, just don't give up. You'll get it. It's the big rack, crow. It's, it's oh rack. my gosh, it's big rack. Yes, man. Yes. 622 to 691. That is oh. amazing. Congrats. That is super awesome. <sighs> Finally. Dude, that's like 5,000 kills. Not on this grind alone, though, right? Like in total? No, no, no. In total since the last one for Whitetail. Jeez, that's awesome, man. Congrats. Glad that it finally <laughs> happened before the update. <laughs> uh, okay. Now, the only thing about this zone, I wanted to take him with the longbow from a tree stand, but I don't think I'm going to do that. Yeah, anymore. I don't yeah. think that's going to be possible. Maybe you could do just like a spot and stock. I've noticed that whitetail are really easy to get close to recently. I don't know what's changed, but I've been able to get super close to every single deer that I've tried to just by proning. In many cases, I can prone clear up to like 15 meters before a doe will start spooking off. Yeah, I don't know yeah. if they've changed no, anything or if it's the areas they're in, but definitely seems like it. Yeah, I... <laughs> Thanks, guys. No, I Also, not... um, Caitlin, Clay Drew, if you guys want, feel free to link uh, Casey's channel in the chat so everybody can see the great one. Thanks, Crow. Appreciate that. Of course. This, this is a big been... moment. <laughs> this has been... Such a long time coming. Man, I wanted the big rack. I wanted the big rack, big rack or the drop tie, so that's perfect. Awesome. Yeah, the big racks are they are something special when you spot them. Oh my gosh. I saw it running off and I thought it was just a, a big a big level three. Yeah, I've I've had one or two of them trick me into thinking that as well. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so happy we did it. Oh my, I wanted to yeah, get that's awesome. one so badly before the update because like I know I probably won't get a great one moose before the end. I wanted another great one before the end of the year. We haven't gotten a great one since February, you guys. Congrats, dude. <laughs> I'm happy that Man, it was one that was guy. worth the wait as well. Thank you guys for the super test. Joshua Travis. Yeah, it was worth the wait for sure. I wanted to do tree stand longbow. I'm perfectly confident with the longbow. I'm not, I'm not worried about it, but I wanted to try to... I mean, I wonder if like this tree might be able to take a, a tree stand. Probably not, though. Nah, that one won't. It's too thin and too too much brush on it. Or too many leaves on it, I guess. None of, the, none of these trees will take a, a tree stand, I don't think. Yeah, not reliably. And plus that hillside, I wouldn't trust that hillside this thing oh adding God. elevation into an already like risky bow shot is gonna be <laughs> that that'd be a that'd be a big no-no i'm confident yeah, with it though i don't think i've ever messed up with longbow for a tree stand oh i, I okay. just meant like I'll, a tree stand uh, on a slope as well yeah 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 for sure all right we'll do it with the longbow we won't do the tree stand let's go get the longbow you guys and we'll do a time reset <laughs> Oh, I can't wow, believe that... I can't believe he spawned for you. That's awesome. <laughs> oh, I've been stressing over it, man. I wanted this thing to spawn so bad before the update. So I got Thank a question you for you. Thank now you, that you've got one to spawn, are you going to keep going now that you don't have that weight on your shoulders of like, I haven't got a great one. I want to get it before the next or before the no, end of the I year. Will. Dude, like it's 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 so weird because today for whatever reason like I, I talked about it in discord i messaged you about it it's in the title i just there was something about today all of those diamonds showing up on the map and then just the, the map feeling so much better than it did previously it just yeah I just felt like something was happening you know and i don't know if definitely i don't know if that meant anything and this is just it's just a coincidence or not but Hard to say, but regardless, it, it really seems good. like it worked, no, whatever yeah, you're I, doing. I, I am going to keep going. I'm going to leave the diamonds, and I, I'll see if I can maybe spawn another one. Because the map feels really good right now. We, like, the threes that are on the map are huge. Yeah, maybe that's what you need to do. Maybe just leave the threes. If know. it's working for you, might as well keep doing it till it don't work no more. Yeah, all right. 
Let's get the long well. We're going to cut the music here, you guys. Because we're going to make a very, very epic video of this. You're going Aha. to make a very, very epic video. Yes, I tell you. What a time for it to pop up, too. Of course, whenever we, we hop in for a stream together to chat about <laughs> grinding, that's when it yeah. shows up. It just knew. It knew. It's like, ah, man, they're going to be talking about me. I need to show. Maybe, yeah, uh, maybe. Crazy. It's a time for 9.30. Let's get that long, though. Props for using the longbow as well, because I, I can't bring myself to longbow a great one. Oh, Buckshot man, about honestly, gave me a heart attack. <laughs> yeah, I... Longbow might be the weapon... The, 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 the weapon that I'm the most confident, aside from my, my standard loadout, would be the longbow. I've just practiced nice. so much with it. Yeah, you were taking a lot of stuff with it, like the Rocky Elk. I've never uh, messed diamond anything and up stuff with it. like that. Knock on wood. I've never messed anything up with it. Don't say that now. Don't jinx yourself. I knocked on wood. Don't do it. It's okay. It's because the, and the main thing is I won't I won't take a shot with it unless it's like a, a perfect shot where the animal's standing still and it's just you know what I mean. Like otherwise I just yeah. Honestly, that should be pretty easy. The white tail, like I said, yeah. they haven't been spooking easily for me. I've been able to get super close to them. <laughs> Let's go, Bowie. Yeah, for sure, man. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna talk to my chat a lot here for a second, Crow. Do you mind, or should I? That's that's myself? fine. I don't care. <laughs> Go for it. I don't want to ignore everybody. I'm just grinding along. I buys here. What's up, dude? Finally, bro, dude. This is five five thousand plus kills since my last white tail gray one. So this is really big for me. I've had such bad white tail luck. Hopefully, the Let's moose see, will be man. the exact hey, opposite for you. Hopefully, I'm I'm hoping the moose is more like the 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 red deer luck that I that I had, you know. Your red deer luck was pretty crazy though. At the, at the beginning, it was pretty insane. Yeah. You had an initial spawn. You had another great one, red deer, and a super rare without even using any type of herd management or anything. They just popped up. Yeah, it's, it was crazy. Yeah, and, and and a minimum weight diamond too, all within nine hundred. Oh, you mean kills. the minimum weight piebald? The minimum weight piebald, the yeah, that was crazy. piebald, and two great ones, all within 900 kills for the red deer. It was insane. All it's like that's a, that's where all my luck went. And then the, the multiplayer albino cape buffalo. It's like just stupid stuff that just doesn't happen, you know. And then the white tail were like, "Hey man, you're getting way too much luck in other things. We are not going to help with that. You're going to have to work extra hard." Dude, like, this would have been one of the last zones that I would have thought that this was going to happen. Yo, <laughs> yeah, Matthew it's an interesting zone for it. Chat. I know, right? Like, one of the last zones I would have even wa wanted it to happen. At. Thank you guys very much Definitely. for the super chats. Oh, man, I'm on cloud nine right now. I wanted this to happen so bad before the update, and I was really worried that it wouldn't. Thank you guys. Now, very much. I'm wondering, is this is it a super wide variation of the big rack, or does it look like it's oh, got tight know. tip to tip? Great question. Because the estimate you're talking about seems pretty high, so I think it's going to be yeah. at least like the average score, maybe even a I higher think, scoring one. I think six, right? Because yeah, they get they do. The, there's a big difference between the thin, the 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 small spread and the big spread, right? Massive. Yeah, I believe they can score like three variations. Again, like, I think right? I've the seen them score as low as like in the six the six tens, and then clear up okay. to like just under six fifty or maybe just over six fifty. Okay. But the average yeah, is around like 630 to 640. Okay. Yeah. It's 611. 611 low estimate. Thank you very much, Bobby. Okay, man. Your truck's stuck in a ditch. Oh, gosh. All right. Good luck to you, man. Thank you very much for the super chat. Whew. Okay. Here we go. Wait, guys. 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 Hang on. We have to go back. I didn't grab the ammo. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta pay attention to what I'm doing. Hey, it's okay. The adrenaline's pumping. There's bound to be a couple things you forget. At least I noticed rather than lose, using the wrong ammo. Definitely. <laughs> so, all good, everybody. We're gonna be just fine. <laughs> 
crowns. I believe. All right, get rid of that. Traditional era, 540s, boom, boom, boom. Does in there. All right, focus, KC, focus. Here we go. 52. You're going to bring me the luck, right? Well. We're going to spawn another great one, too. <laughs> yeah, I mean, well, you've been... You, you don't need me for luck. You, you proved that. <laughs> so. Thanks, everybody. Hey, everybody. Casey, I think literally I the, um, the only, like, good trophy of the day besides, like, a couple diamonds here and there was that Mela. I've been trying so hard to get, like, big rares. That's, uh... That's one of the few like really good rares that we've had in the few in the last few days. The only good ones I've had have been piebalds. It's like well, I mean that's pretty. I don't cool need piebalds. We've, we've been in the Discord chat for what half an hour. You spawned a melon, I spawned a grail. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> the luck is here tonight. That's all we needed to do. Who would have thought? Um, merch. I had merch up until about a month ago. I had it through Streamlabs, and I. Currently, I, 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 sorry, not currently, that's the wrong word. I recently discontinued that, but there will be more, there will be merch in the future, for sure. The merch will be back. I need a sip of my beer. Yeah, Rick, we're still live. Uh, we decided to uh, hop in here with uh, Kill Clinton and kind of chat about our grinds as we grind. And then, like, the second we started doing that, I spawned a really big Mela, and he's got a great one on his map now. So, we're probably going to keep going for a little while. Things are feeling good tonight. Scarecrow's still alive? I think, yeah, he's crazy. still alive. Yes, he is. Yeah, I'm still alive. Just chilling. Just blasting. We're both live. Blasting deer, trying to get one of my zones to turn to ones. That's being very stubborn. Am I going to go for a, a third white tail great one? I'm going to keep going with this map until the update comes out. Yeah, because the map's feeling really good. We've got huge level threes on it. And a great one spawned, so... Um, this will be what we do until, until the update. Yeah. Let's see if maybe we get another one. I, I bet if you them, keep though. going, I, you'll I get another. I can't do that. I can't, I can't stack. I got to shoot them when I see them. So this one we're going to take down with the longbow. The next one. Gosh, I got to figure out what I, what I want to do. Maybe the crossbow for the next one. Crossbow's fun on them. Old Don't faithful. do buckshot though. I, I beg you do not do, do not do buckshot. No matter how good buckshot. your shot is, those pellets stray off to the side. Yeah, I don't know if I would do buckshot, man. Yeah, I so please don't. It's terrible. Diamond, diamond red deer with buckshot once. Yeah, dude, my uh, with the twenty gauge, the big rack I took down with the buckshot the other day, I aimed at the lower part of the lung, at twenty eight meters, zeroed for twenty five, and like three of the pellets hit the lung, two hit low and hit the leg, and one hit the upper neck next to the head and almost messed it up. Gosh. Like, I don't Terrifying. trust the buckshot because of that now. <laughs> okay, I see him. I see him, you guys. I see him. All right, he's down there. Now, the question is, do we call him in or do we sneak up on him? This is always the great debate when it comes to my longbow hunts. Do we creep up on him or do we call him? Do we hunker down and cover and call him in or do we sneak up? Now he's in some reeds, so I think the way that we're gonna do this is get him to come to us, which should be pretty epic. We'll get, we'll try to get him to come as close as we can, dude. Let's see if, let's see if we can get a big rack white tail to come within like 15 meters. That'd be epic. That would there be pretty right cool. There. Oh my gosh, oh, I love that dude. Seeing that ten fabled up in the top right never gets old. At least not for me. Oh no! He, even at this point, for me, it doesn't get old. Really? I, dude, I freak out every time. It still hasn't gotten like, old. I like, no, I like no, it. you should have heard me yesterday. I was when that one, when the most recent one popped up, I was screaming like, "Yeah, let's go, baby! Woo!" Nice. Because it's still like that. Uh, it's still the the high point of the grind, right? It's what you're yeah. grinding for, so when it pops, it's still super exciting. This guy's actually 622 low estimate. 
it's pretty nice. Yeah, so it's, it's going to be wide. at least like the average score for them, I'd say. Maybe even a high scoring one. What's a high scoring one? Like 650 plus? Like 640 plus would be a pretty good one. Um, my two are 635 and 630. Um, I think iBuy has got a few that are in the 630s. Like 630s is pretty average for that rack. If it's above that or below that, then it's a special one. Yeah, like the highest I've seen was around 650, and the lowest I've seen was around like 617 or something like that, and the tips were almost touching. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, that's right. You still have that 270 uh, basket rack buck on your map as well. Yeah. You've yeah, got some insane, insane stuff right now. Yeah. Oh, and then there's three other, there's three other level threes that are 260 low estimate. Yeah, your map's so, just popping like, off. It's just yeah. So I'm just gonna just, I'm just gonna keep stacking those threes. See if we can spawn another one for the update. This guy, oh my god, beautiful big rack. Yeah, I really wanted the big rack, big rack or the drop tine, or obviously the typical rack would be cool because it's so rare. But I wanted a big rack one. Look at this guy. Ooh, that one looks pretty wide. Wow. Yeah, yeah, he does. He looks big. I I'm gonna I'm gonna do a bold bold guess here. I'm gonna say 643. Yeah, I'm hoping 640 plus, man. That would be cool. Given it's it's kind of hard for me to tell. I'm I'm watching the stream on my phone, so. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> but it, I I think it looks 640 plus. Hopefully. That's a diamond potential too. Let's call this guy over. I think right here is where I want to be. Do I keep the fence rack right. twos on my, on my map? Only some Necron, like only if it's the last thing I need to get that zone out of my rotation. Okay, for the video, Crow, what do you think? What should I do? Should I mute myself? Uh, yeah, if you'd like to. And then maybe unmute right. after you kill it. All right. So I can congratulate right. you and stuff. <laughs> or scorn me for messing it up. Yeah, it's like, ah, oh, you nerd. Gosh. <laughs> Should have used a shotgun. <laughs> yeah, JC did. He finally got a great one to spawn. KC finally got a great one to spawn on his map. So he's taking it down right now. Hey, Tyler, how's it going? I don't know if he did, Clay Drew. You guys should tell him that. You should tell him to uh, turn on the in-game music if he hasn't, because it actually is quite something special. I liked having the, uh, the game music on when claiming it. We need a blow dart gun. That would be cool. It would be very cool for sure. Oh, you can't, Clay Drew? <laughs> what? Oh. How did, how did that happen? Shot all the deer at the bottom left lake, and now there's not a zone. How can I get the zone back? Most likely, they moved to a different part of the map, uh, Melton. Whenever you delete a zone, they pick a new area to make their zone in. I'm not super tired, Rosie. I'm not tired. Thunder, thank you for the six months, dude. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Hope you're doing good. Hope you are doing amazingly. There's that one. Is that another one? No, that's a bullhorns, I think. 
Still haven't been able to get this zone to be all ones, though. Nice, Rick. Nice. Oh, oh, got you, Clay Drew. Got you. I mean, I'm sure, I'm sure that he'd let you back in, man. If it was like two years ago, I'm sure that that's that's fine. I I'd say just send him a message about it. I'm sure he would. I'm sure he'd unban you. If it was like two years ago, I'm sure that that he. I'm sure he's over it by now. Uh, lots of playtime, Saw, man. I've got around 4,500 hours in uh, Call of the Wild. And I play between like 5 and 8 hours every day. So a lot of it's just experience. Oh, got you, Clayger. I can I can ask him probably for you. I'm doing good, Thunder. I'm doing good. I hope you're doing good as well. Hey, Ava, I'm doing well. Uh, we're grinding for more great ones, Tyler. We're trying to get another great one on the map. Super rares would be really nice along the way, though. Do I use the dog any? Uh, yeah, primarily in multiplayer. I use it in multiplayer quite a bit. Okay, this one's being stubborn again. Um, I mean, that's a pretty vague question. No, I, I can't really, uh, I can't really tell you just by, like, without knowing what's actually going on on your map. There's really no way for me to know. Oh, no, goat. Get it. Uh, yeah, Chessie, they'll still work. Uh, yeah, Buck Kid, we've got a total of four on the map at the moment. And including this guy right here. Yeah, that guy needs to go. Where's that diamond potential to? There he is. Zones are acting a little weird now that we've kind of got less to shoot. Where's the best lake to hunt at? Well, everybody's map's going to be a little bit different. I always have found quite a few deer throughout the left side of the map, though. Like, Whitetail can only drink on the left side. So, this big river on the left... The, the Balmont Swamp area, the southern coast, and then all of these little lakes off to the side. Those are where all of the um, whitetail can be. And uh, unfortunately, there's not really a best lake because everybody's zones are going to be a little bit different. Casey's wind is bad? That does not surprise me. That's That's always what happens to him. The wind is always against him. I swear. The wind got skill. Uh, we will at some point, Hunter Boy. Probably after we get a couple of the moose.
I'm honestly at this point convinced that the wind just doesn't like KC. The wind is always going against him. How many great ones have I killed? Eight white tail and six red deer. We've got four white tail on the map as well. Okay, that's a new respawn. Eh, that one's not going to die anytime soon. Why am I not killing the great ones? Because we're stacking them. We're trying to just get as many on the map as we can possibly get. Just to see how many is possible, you know. Yeah, we're stacking the threes again, uh, Mason, because we found a new zone. And so I'm trying to get one of my other zones to turn to ones. And so we're stacking all the threes so that we can force more level one spawns. Oh, we got a new three here. Okay, that's good. So I don't think we have to hunt this anymore until we get this other zone to ones. Do I have a diamond mountain goat? Uh, yeah, I've got a few diamond mountain goats. Yeah, that's diamond potential. That is too. Okay. We literally have like almost all of our zones just level threes now. This is kind of crazy. We're getting tons of threes. This is just wild. How do you know if you're hidden from an animal seeing you? Um, well, if you have the improvised blind perk, you can sit in a bush and you'll see in the bottom right, you'll have a visibility meter in between the heart rate meter and the uh, sound meter. So like if I sit in this tree, you'll see how that uh, visibility meter basically disappears completely. That means that you're hidden. Best like to hunt at on Layton? Um, Thunder, I would say probably Runaki's really good. And then uh, also Balmont Lake's really good. If you like Blacktail Deer and Roosevelt Elk, Balmont's really good. Runaki's great for Whitetail. Um, so is like all of Balmont Swamp. This entire swamp area is great for Whitetail. It's decent for Blacktail. It's great for Moose. Lots of uh, good hunting to be had through there. And yeah, Caitlin, I like this song. It's kind of groovy, you know? Kind of funky, groovy. Try to add a few of those types of songs into the playlist. You kill or stack your diamond whitetail. Uh, it depends on what you're trying to do. If you're trying to get ones to spawn on your map quicker for herd management, then I would say stack them. However, I only recommend stacking them in your favorite zones. Yeah, kind of Halloween theme. True. Oh, that's another one. Come on. Why do the twos keep showing up here? I want this zone to become ones. Come on. Just, just turn to ones. We've got almost all ones here. Just need a couple more, man. Just need a couple more. I will be whenever the Great One Moose drops, Ava. Whenever they drop the Great One Moose, I'll be grinding super hardcore for them. I'll try and get as many as we can. 
Couple good twos there. Uh, yeah, Mega, just kill Bucks, don't kill the Does. Welcome back, uh, to Legit. Hey, Jace, how's it going? Well, looks like Casey's got that great one pretty close now. Looks like it's coming in pretty quickly. Uh, the 300 comes with Yukon Valley. Not sure, Milton. I haven't kept track of it. Yeah, it's getting super close, Caitlin. I'm so happy that he got another great one to spawn. He's put in quite a bit of, uh, quite a bit in time about English and stuff. He's put in quite a bit of time for this moment. So it's nice to see it happen. It went alert. That's not good. I wonder if it's his wind being weird or what? Because I've noticed occasionally the wind isn't blowing directly at animals and it'll sometimes act as if it is. Hopefully that's not going to happen to him. Uh, no case. We haven't got a new great one yet. Uh, we got one yesterday, but not today. However, uh, Kill Clinton just got a great one to spawn, and so he's taking it out right now. Oh, that's a new three. That's a new three right there. So now we got a three and a diamond potential two in this zone. Man, yeah, we've got virtually every deer in our zones to be a three now. You'd think that at this point it'd be easy to shoot down the the other zone to level ones, but they're being stubborn. Nice, Rosie. All right, later, Chesy. Thanks for dropping by. Oh, gotcha, Case. Yeah, I haven't got any new ones today. We did get a big Melanistic, though. About 231 on the score. He got it. Wow. KC just got his great one down. He just smoked it. <laughs> he got it down. That's amazing. Now let's just hope it was a good shot. It looked good. Did he get vitals? I think he got vitals. Hopefully it wasn't spine, but I think it looked good from what I could tell. Nice, Donovan. That's awesome. Whoa, what the? Extra bucket this zone? Excuse me? That's not normal. Is this Layton? It is, Mega. It is. 
Gosh, look at that beast of a buck. Casey got a massive great one. I wonder what it's going to score. I'm still saying 643. I think his uh, great one's going to score 643. Oh, there's the other buck. Yeah, he got it down. It looks like a wide one, though. Wow. Yeah, I'd say his has to be 640 plus. It's got to be 640 plus. I'm pretty sure I've seen somebody get a 645 before Zyphon. I've seen a couple absurdly wide uh, big racks. What rifle am I using? Just wondering because of the power. It's the 300 Magnum. 300 Magnum. He turned on his music. Oh, he did good. Cause it sounds uh, pretty cool. Wait, is that an extra? It is. It's an extra deer here. Uh, that's not normal. Yeah, we got some weirdness going on. We're getting extra deer. How do you get a doe to go and the three to spawn? Uh, well, you can't really get does to leave. They're, you're always going to have does where the does are. Gosh, KC staying in that camera so long is stressing me out. I keep, uh, I keep just worrying about game crashes. I hope it doesn't happen to him. I, I hope it doesn't. That camera just scares me because I've seen the camera be pretty glitchy before and cause crashes, so... Hopefully the camera doesn't crash him. Yeah, that's, 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 that's what I'm thinking too. What did he get? 637. Yeah, that's a good one. That's like two points higher than mine. Not too bad. That's a beauty. That is a good looking great one. Wow. That's awesome. Nice, JD. That's awesome. That is awesome, man. Yo, what's up, dude? How's it going? That's 637, going though. That's it. bigger than any of mine. That's that's crazy. He's wide, hey? He's yeah, a wide he is. Boy. It is pretty wide. Doesn't quite break that 640, though. That's nah, not quite, but I'm happy with it. 
Longbow from 18 meters. That was cool. Nice, dude. Double, double nice. Long. Double long. Wow. Beautiful. 723 cash. They don't pay much, hey? Nah, it's I'll the same as a diamond, pretty much. Yeah, yeah. No, they just fine. give you the same as diamonds would. <laughs> Dude, I, while you were doing that, I've spawned like another four or five level threes. <laughs> That's insane. I, I've got all of my main zones full, except for like maybe one bucket each. Nice. We hit over 500 views. Over 500 I saw. Viewers. That's insane. So I'm, I'm happy about that. Everybody got to witness you taking down that gorgeous big male. Yeah, it was epic. That was exactly the way I pictured it going down, too. Very happy. I'm Thank just glad you, so you finally Caitlin. got him to spawn. You, I'm glad that the, the herd management turned around for you. Yeah, me too. Gosh. I was so worried that it wasn't And it turned, it turned around with a beauty as well. Yeah, not too shabby. Can't complain. Honestly, I... That's uh, uh, you know you see screenshots and stuff, but it's it's just not the same as actually having it in the harvest screen in front of you. Like oh, it's, definitely, it's totally, it's totally different actually looking at it and being able to spin it around and stuff. Like the big rack's pretty. Uh, Can pretty you just imagine what it's gonna be like spinning a moose around in your harvest screen? I know. Yeah, this is like re. Uh, you know, I've got I've got a little bit of my faith back that I was losing. Reinvigorated the uh, love for the grind. Yeah, I was getting worried about the whole herd management thing. And now oh, everything's ooh. working out. Yeah, we'll see if we could even get another one. I'm not going to shoot those diamonds. We're going to keep going until we maybe do it. Even before the update, maybe maybe get that drop time. That would be pretty sick. If you could get a drop time or the uh, typical rack, that'd be nuts. I, st I just can't get the typical rack. I want it so bad. It's so rare. It is. I rarely see anybody get it. I'm still... I can't believe Blitz got one. And such a unique one at that. Oh, I didn't know he got that. I oh my gosh, that. dude. He got... Yeah, he got a typical rack. Great one. And Thanks, everybody. one of the Thanks, antlers guys. is super twisty and wonky. Oh. No he got way. a super unique looking typical rack. I'm jealous. Like typical both, both antlers? Yeah, both antlers, but one of them is bent differently than the other. It's a really right. cool buck. Okay, we got to see this thing in the trophy lodge, you guys. We're going to build the... We'll do the two great one whitetail uh, set up here. I got... Where's my other great one whitetail? I think it's on a... Stand Are you going to do the one where they're fighting? Is that the only position you can put them in? Is when they're fighting? Yep. The, it, always ah. going to be locked antlers, so... I'd probably no, put it in a I'll huddle do... with like your favorite rare or your biggest diamond or something. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Um, I'm gonna put it with. The oh, your troll diamond. pie. Now I'll put it with the troll pie. That's a good call. That's a good call. That would look sick. All right, I need to friggin' trophy manager. Let's take this thing apart. Thank you, Aspen, for the super chat. Thank you guys so much for the super chats. And also, thank you guys for subscribing. Everybody that subscribed. Thank you guys very much. You absolute legends. Absolute legends. Thanks, Aspen. Let's see if I can find this thing and take it apart. <laughs> oh, trophy lodges. Crazy. Um, Wyatt, if your map is all level ones, you're definitely missing some zones because it's not possible for every single deer to be a level one. You're yeah, definitely missing some one. zones. Yo, Kelly, thank you for the super chat. Thank you, guys. Thank you very much, Kelly. Passed it? No, did I? No, I built this thing a long time ago. It should be pretty far down. Did you by any chance, like, take it apart to... Like reposition I something at some have. point? I might have. They might be right in the chat, actually. Because I know I've done that a couple times where I've like just changed the position of them or took one deer out and added another. Yeah, they were right. I was wrong. <laughs> of course, as usual. Got him. As pretty. Chat's usual. always right. We've learned this. Chat is always <laughs> right. <laughs> it was only one person. It was more than one. I definitely would have been like, okay. Well, okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right, my math's ulti, man. Multi, man. 
Uh, how do I tell? Okay, here we go. Oh, this is going to be fun to put together. Definitely. Dude, this, um, I've got, yeah, there's only like maybe seven bucks that I'm shooting each run now. I've got the rest to level threes. And, well, may, maybe maybe nice. more like ten. There's around like ten, I'd say. But I, <laughs> the zone that I'm trying to change, it refuses to turn to ones. It just refuses to turn to ones. Of course. I've had ones pop up in other places, but not the place I need them. Uh, of course. Unfortunately, dude, is this gonna is this is this great one gonna show up looking the wrong fur type as well? Because my first great one is albino. It looks albino. No, they they fixed the issue. Oh, it just wasn't retroactive. No, no. So okay, so basically what happened? Think of think of it this way: when they had the uh, the Rancho patch, right? It messed up a bunch of stuff in our trophy lodge, where yeah. it essentially made a bunch of animals look fabled piebald. But then when they when they fixed that, any trophies that had been taken between the release of Rancho and that patch essentially flipped to the opposite fur type. Like they they had to fix the ones that were broken, and because of that, anything shot during that update for those species got essentially flipped as well. Well, now it looks like I have an albino gray one, a piebald troll, and a <laughs> <laughs> common gray one. Yep, I don't worry, I've got that piebald great one for my first ever great one too now. Well, there's it's, what uh, an albino it's great one looks like, guys, if you ever wanted to see one. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Yeah, Kathy, we just got it. We got a big rack, great one. Took it down with the longbow. Don't worry. It'll it's be unfortunate video. they were never able to uh, fix okay. that as well. What the? Ah, come on. No. A level one showed up in the wrong zone. So the Damn. first great one is a forever albino. Man, that's cool. How do I stay motivated to grind like this? Uh, to be honest, Scythe, a couple different things. One, I'm a very competitive person. I'm always trying to better everything that I do. It's and so, famous. like, great ones are one of the big things Why for that. I can always, doing? I can always try to improve and make my strategies better and more efficient. And then the other big thing, oh my gosh, it turned to ones. Yes, <laughs> finally. Oh my gosh. But anyway, as I was saying, I, I'm also, I'm, I'm making content out of Call of the Wild. So it really drives me to do more because I'm not just, not just playing for myself. I'm also making videos and streams out of it. And I'm doing it for you guys as well. And so it really like, yeah. it makes it more enjoyable because it's not just for me, it's for you guys too. It's a much different experience playing a video and when you're streaming and people are watching and it's a, it's a whole like, uh, you know, totally different than just playing a video game. I wouldn't be able Definitely. to play Call of the Wild like this if it wasn't for content or streaming. There's no way. Definitely. Oh my gosh, dude. Now that I've got this zone to all ones and I got another random level one in the zone across from it that has never been there before. I think I can, I think that extra one that showed up there is one of the bouncers. So as long as I don't shoot him, I don't think he'll go to this zone that I just got to ones. I think oh, wow. I've officially been able to retire this one. Oh, wow. Oh, it feels so good. Well, we're about to slaughter like 20 level threes real quick. Oh my gosh. That feels so good. You got yourself a great one and I got to get rid of a zone I hated. I have to dismantle this. I wasted my money because I need a, a I need a screenshot of this guy by himself. And I don't like any. Oh poses. yeah. Okay, let's do that. You guys can you guys can just watch this if you want to. <laughs> I'm gonna take the uh, screenshot for a thumbnail. And Yeah, Blaze, we're about to blast all these level threes. And troll for the first one. Beautiful. Love it. <laughs> Thank you, Call of the Wild. I appreciate the trolls. Oh, and I'll be right back for like two seconds. Okay, man. Man, what's the best pose for a screenshot here? That's pretty cool.
that's pretty awesome. Not gonna lie, that's pretty sick. Holy, holy, dude. Oh, I like that. Wow. 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 That's awesome. Oh, look at the look at the tail. How good is the tail looking at in that position like that? That looks sick. Tail looks so good. All right, I'm back. <laughs> All right. All right, later I buy. Thanks for dropping by, dude. Get that fifth great one. I'm going to race you to it. We'll see which one of us can get five first. Wow, and push to try and get it. Friggin' losers. <laughs> only losers get five great ones. You're only cool if you get one. Exactly. Okay, see you, bye. See you, buddy. We, we've gone past the point of having no life. <laughs> <laughs> You're only cool if it takes ten months to get one. Yeah, gosh, dude. Where's this level oh, three? Man. Dude, Rude. that means I finally have two of each. Oh, man, it's all just sinking in still. Finally, I can say I have two of each. Oh, I was getting so tired of saying I have two red deer and one white tail. Except black After bear. All the work, kind I've, of, put so yeah. much, I've put so much more work into the white tail than the red deer. It's not even funny. <laughs> I'm sorry, bro, bro. bro. Bro, bro thought that bro, bro got confused when he put on his headphones and only heard you. He's like, wait, I thought this was a crow stream. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> he didn't realize that you were in here. That's hilarious. Like your KC. Yeah, you know, gosh, like, jeez. Silky, sultry, sultry voice. I want to show you guys. Do it, I buy. Do it. I want to show you guys the tall elk. Where is it? Yeah, that I tall buy, elk's I... the only one I've ever seen. Yeah, me too. It's the only one in, his, in existence, apparently. As I buy, I buy. Have you seen my tall elk? Has he seen it? I don't know if he's seen. It. I don't think. I don't know if he has, but it, it's unique. Only one yeah, I've ever cool. seen. Yeah, I'm a big fan of it. Where the heck There's is some here? really weird, like one-off trophies in Call of the Wild, where I've only seen like one or two people ever get them. Oh, here it is. Here. <laughs> it looks so ridiculous. <sighs> Max weight, 500 kilos. Man. It's gotta be the rarest trophy I have. It's the only one, right? It has to be. I'm sure there's probably some that have been killed but never posted. Well, I like publicly was like, and it's there's a pinned comment on the video. Like I've very publicly been like, if anybody has one, send me a picture. A handful of people have sent a picture and it's not the same rack. Um, I know oh, that, it's like a little bit different um, TSG remember TSG yep yeah you fond do. memories right yeah yeah oh yes he, fantastic he spawned one by like you know what I mean cheating modding of course he did because what he else would he do he can't of, get anything one, legit yeah I, and I think it's the tall rack or at least it looks somewhat like it but it's not a legit one so it obviously it doesn't count but other than that that's I've never ever seen one yeah so Thanks, Tyler. Thanks, everybody. Scarecrow is live, Koi. Yeah, if you're getting tired of this stream. I am alive, live. I promise. I'm alive. He, he's live for you. I am he's alive. Alive. All right, let's raise the trolls. Eight trolls. Whew. Okay, so, so far we've killed three level threes. Two trolled, one made diamond. What happened between you guys and TSG? Oh, nothing, Ender. Nothing at all. Neither of us. Um, if you don't have zones zones in a specific spot, Melton, then you just don't have them. The only way to get them there would be to delete other zones and hope they go where you want them, and there's no guarantee they would. So I don't recommend trying to do that. You just gotta kind of adapt to wherever your zones end up being. Yeah. This is my Christmas tree, Caitlin, for sure. And that one didn't make diamond. Oh well. I need to revamp my ultimate launch. It needs a lot of work. Yeah, man, I, I got to go through and find like some of the trophies I've taken down as well. Cause like I've just kind of replaced stuff with other stuff and then forgot to put it back up in the lodge and oh, forgot too. to do it. And so it's like, I have stuff like, Such a mess. I have a 96 scoring albino pronghorn from years ago and I don't have a place for it in my main lodge anymore. Cause I've added the, the great ones and the super rares and stuff over the years and just, 
slowly weeded out other stuff and it's like I kind of yeah. want to have that in there because that's a big albino pronghorn you don't see those every day totally there's the 460.9 red deer uh reindeer you guys 460.9 a lot of people been asking what my biggest biggest uh reindeer is there he is on that. how about both of them g man that sounds like a great idea and that one made diamond too beautiful 432 424 old school diamond that's hilarious gosh the i hate how the scores got all messed up for a lot of the og scoring system stuff the reindeer and the caribou for me are the worst terrible yeah a lot of it's so weird nice buddy that's awesome a 507 diamond rocky for your first diamond is pretty great that is pretty awesome um i'm gonna wrap this one up though you guys i'm uh, that took so much out of me uh, i'm gonna celebrate i'm gonna i'm, I'm gonna have a fun night and yeah I, I you know do it i'm gonna crack open a bottle of whiskey or something uh, but do thank it. you guys so much for being here everybody uh head over to crow's stream he's, he's still live you're gonna be live for what a couple a little bit another hour yeah once i once i get finished uh do you want to like hop on and chat for a bit? I can crack open a bottle as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll uh, I'll be I'll be on Discord. All right, awesome, sweet. Yeah, because yeah. I'm so just gonna shoot all these diamonds and then I'll be done. Okay. All right. All right, guys. Thank you guys so much. We did it. We friggin' did it. Stay tuned for the great video. one. It might, be, it might be tomorrow, but the only thing about tomorrow is it's Tuesday, so we'll probably do like a stream recap video from the EW stream. So. Worst case scenario, if the great one video is not tomorrow, it'll be the it'll be the uh, the day after. So, yeah. Anyway, thank you guys so much. Have a great night. We freaking did it. Oh my gosh, you did it! <laughs> <sighs> awesome. Thank you guys. Love you guys. All right, crawl. I'll be in. I'll be in Discord. All right. Peace, sweet. everybody. Peace. See you guys tomorrow. Oh, Gav. KC finally got his great one. His great one whitetail spawned. So uh, he he's celebrating. And we finally got to abandon one of our uh, zones that we hated, so celebration over here as well. And we got a pretty big melanistic this stream, so it's been a good day. It's been a very solid day. Yeah, that's one of the threes that we need to take down. Where's the other three? I know there's a second three here that we need to wipe out. Let me just reset the time. Oh, we're not going to shoot the great ones yet, Brayden. We're trying to get a fifth on the map. I mean, I don't compare myself to anybody, Chase. How many whitetail zones are in Layton? Uh, it's going to be different depending on the map, right? Like, everybody's going to have slightly different numbers. I've heard anywhere from, like, 65 to, like, 75 is what most people have. But it can vary from person to person quite a bit. All right, no worries, Caitlin. Hey, it made it. And this other one's guaranteed to make it, so we'll just uh, raise that up by two. Yep, 264. Lag? Oh no. Rip. I think we're good now. Refresh if you guys haven't already. Refresh the stream. There we go. Got that one as well. Don't want that one there. Thank you, Snunk. I appreciate that. Lots of hours of practice. 
And it trolled. No. Oh, well. And diamond level two. Beautiful. So at least one of them made it. Always crazy when the uh, level two makes it and the level three doesn't. We should only have a few more threes that we need to take down. How can you reload so fast with the lightning hands perk, uh, Connor? Lightning hands will get you the quicker reloads. When is the update coming? Uh, early to mid December, most likely. To be honest, G-Man, I get the diamond twos more than I do like the smaller threes. Although I probably get more than than most people. Didn't we have another three here? Or did we kill it already? I think we killed it last run. Wait, there's one. Let's get it to move. I need to see what it is. Oh, it's that extra level one. That's right. We got that extra one there. Let's just make sure none of these turned into uh, twos. Or make sure none of the straggler twos came back here. I think we're good. I think we're good. I'm on Leighton Lakes, uh, LaDonna. Thank you, Sam. I'm glad you like them. I have a lot of fun streaming. I think we just have one diamond over here. I'm going to check everything else around it first, though. Uh, EW is Expansive Worlds. It's the uh, creators of Call of the Wild. I'm leaving the 10 Fabled because we're stacking it. We're seeing how many we can get on the map at once. Killed your first super rare diamond mela brown bear. Nice, Dalton. That's awesome. That is super cool. How many deer do I pop a day? Well, it depends on how long I stream. Typically, I stream between like four and seven hours. And I kill about 90 to 100 whitetail every hour. So anywhere from like, I'd say 350 to 700 deer a day. Yeah, exactly. Give or take a few, because obviously there's variables. Each run's going to have some things that are different, so sometimes I have runs where it's slower. Okay, this three does not want to show up. We might have to avoid him for now. What is the best pack? Are you talking about for like the uh, weapon packs? Now it's going to depend on your preferences when like uh, when it comes to weapon choices, but I really like the modern rifles pack. The 308 is a monster of a gun. And then uh, the 22 and the 223 are pretty useful as well if you don't have like any other options for them. Modern rifles pack is a great one to get. Uh, weapon pack 1 is also very useful because of the 22. The 22 LR is really good. It's one of the better, like, small game rifles in the game. Hey, these deer are being, being crazy, man. They're not showing up. Come on. 
Pop up in your zones. There we go, finally. Couple small males returned here. Honestly, I don't think we're going to shoot them because this is going to be the final run of the day. We're just going to check to see what the respawns ended up like. Later, Faded. Thanks for dropping by. Hey, that's the three that we missed last time. We need to kill him. We're pretty much just killing all of the uh, threes real quick and then we're going to hop off. Because we were stacking these all day to try and get a zone to turn to ones. And so now we can finally kill off all of these. How to get great ones? Shooting bucks of uh, whitetail or the stags for the red deer or the uh, male black bear. That would be how you get a great one. You just shoot them until one pops up. Well, that one trolled. Sad day. Did we get all the threes from this zone? I can't remember. Thank you, Snunk. I appreciate that. I really do. That is awesome to hear. I'm glad you're enjoying. You know, I've always been so amazed at, like, what a wide range of, like, uh, ages and countries that actually enjoy watching the channel here. It's always amazing to me how diverse of a, uh, how diverse of a uh, fan base that I have here. It's honestly amazing. Nice, Caden. Nice. Okay, so these are two that we need to take down. I believe both of those are diamond potential. Nice, Christian. That's awesome, dude. Congrats. That is super awesome. Uh, I think we got it. Okay, I think we're good. Mississippi, Canada, Mississippi, Portugal. Nice, that's awesome. That's exactly what I'm saying though. There's a lot of, uh, there's a pretty large variety of different people from different parts of the world and different age ranges. And it's just amazing to me. Absolutely love it. Another troll. <laughs> oh, so many of these trolled. I think we're missing like one or two more diamonds, but most of them have been trolls so far. That's sad. I think it's been about 50-50. Technically this isn't a troll because it was a level two, but they still didn't make it. I know we got a level three right here. Yeah, the trolls have been wild. <laughs> Italy? I'm gonna say fact. I'm gonna say fact. West Virginia, Kansas, Alberta, Colorado, Maine, Nebraska. Holy. That is awesome. Okay, actually. Oh, no, wait. We did get both of them. We did get both of the level threes from here. What about this zone? What do we got here? Okay, no more level threes, I don't think. Looks like we're good. All right, well, we're gonna go ahead and end it, guys. This was a uh, fun stream, though. I had a lot of fun today. We got a really nice melanistic, as well as uh, getting rid of a zone that we were trying to get rid of for ages. And adding a brand new zone to our rotation, so appreciate you all being here. We shall be back uh, tomorrow with another stream. But until then, thank you all for watching, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace!